Welcome back to Bay Per View. This is episode number 16. Today we have with us Sydney's best epoxy flooring specialist, Kynan. How are you, mate? Hey, good, le- good legend. Thanks for having me. Not a problem. How are you today? Good, man. Good. Tired, the usual, yep. but happy. Got good vibes going today. Yeah, loving it. Good loving vibes, good man. vibes. Good vibes, yeah. Working hard, eh? Always working hard, man. How's Set- this work schedule now with this rain? Uh, it's pretty tough, probably the last week and a half, um, but... We weren't really affected by the floods in general at home, yep. so I'm not complaining at no. all. You know what I mean? There's people out there that people have it worse. Tough. So, I mean, if work gets delayed by a week and a half, work gets delayed by a week and a half. Yeah, it is it. what it is. Exactly. So, um, Go see what you can do to help some other people out. Well, look, we, we actually put the offer out there. Yeah, nice. I, I don't know if you've seen it. I put it up on my story and up on yep. Facebook and stuff. If anyone just needed a hand... Let us know. Cleaning up. 100%. Let us know. And then, funny enough, there was a few boys that I did work for up at the Central Coast. Yep. Uh, Turnstile Constructions, and they... Um, they were like, hey, if you want to put a team together, yep. like we'll come down 100%. and give you a hand, like just cleaning up and doing basics. That's mad. I was like, that's mad. That's yeah. cool. So People want to help, hey. It's that, crazy. That's it. Like, I, I think sometimes when you're asking for help, some people don't want to, yep. to a degree, because yep. it, it, whether it's feeling embarrassed or, exactly. you know what I mean? They just want to do it by themselves. Mm-hmm. Um, but look, the offer was out there. So yep. that was the main thing. I'm, so, sure, I'm sure someone will reach out to you if they need something. Mate, if they need to, go for it. 100%. We're here. So, That's it. Awesome. Let's uh, jump straight into question number one, and we can get this ball rolling. Eh? <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> All right. So, first question uh, for you, Kynan, is super basic. It's just uh, tell us about yourself and what it is that you do. Yes. Um, I am 26 years old. Started this business three years ago. Okay. Um, originally, funny enough, it wasn't purely a epoxy business. Okay. Um, it was a mix of eight different things oh, in one. a mix of everything? <laughs> yeah. And um, I got told one day, what was the point of doing... Everything. Eight different things mediocre, yep. opposed to doing one thing really good. Yeah. So, that's where evolution kind of came into play. Nice. Um, and at the moment, we're a, a flooring company, mainly residential. Mm-hmm. Um we're not the biggest out there. Mm-hmm. Um, we try to keep it quite small at the very minute. Definitely making some noise though. Making yeah. some noise in the residential world. Um, it's 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 getting there. Yeah. Um, to 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 a point where it's trying to find the next step, I guess. Yeah. Um, but Getting a bit hard to stay on top of it yourself. Yeah, I mean. At the moment, I'm doing seven days a week. Wow. Uh, so Monday to Sunday, uh, trying to get clients in. Um, I think the theory behind that is I just only being by myself at the very moment is only so much you can do in a week. Yep. Um, so even if I am super busy, there's only a certain amount of clientele I can attend to. Definitely. Every week. So my schedule drags out. Um, but it is what it is. Work work is good. Business is flowing. Um, not complaining at all definitely Um, definitely but but, but the hustle and the grind is (laughs) definitely there there. it's there um and it's heavy but um it is what it is it's okay yeah can't complain you're making it work making it work for now um so doing all those eight different jobs at once and then moving towards just the flooring is that yeah so i mean like because before we're doing like pressure cleaning yeah driveway ceiling yeah roof cleaning all this kind of thing but then i was doing at the time because I kind of just jumped into this okay. not knowing. It was yep. very unknown. Um, and I was like, yeah, I'm just going to do everything because yep. I'm going to try off everything at once. It started to come through and I was, I was doing everything just average. Okay. So the business in itself for the first two and a half years was standstill. Yep. Like making enough money just to pay your bills every month. Um, and at the same time, I still had to have two or three jobs in the out- outer. Yeah, okay. So it wasn't working. Um you're just chasing your tail all the time. Always chasing your tail, yep. man. So the money was just making enough money to pay bills, no profit. Yeah, wow. So and that can get to you sometimes, hey. Oh, <laughs> you man. wonder why that, you're even doing it. That's what I mean. It sucks, yep. dude. And then like doing that stuff during the week, and then going to go do night shift, and then wow. when you don't have jobs, then you go out and do labouring. Like, yeah, yep. it's it's a shit go. But then, I mean, but now, you're hustling. You're doing doing what you have to do to keep to get that money buy. coming in yeah and that's I think that's what some people don't get like some people will go okay we want to start the business we want to get it going but then it's not just getting it started it's not just going to happen straight away that's right 
It's it's and unfortunately, when you're first starting out fresh, you still need other, another form of income to live. Hundred percent. Because people don't know about you. Yeah. People are just there's no form of trust there where people are gonna go. Oh, we're gonna use that guy. That's right. There's no content. There's nothing there for people to feed yeah. off. Um. So, at one stage, I was doing laboring in the mornings then I was going I was working at Dan Murphy's doing that in the nights then doing dance overnights yep. no word of a lie then going straight back into laboring in the morning Jesus. and there are so many I used to do that with a couple of the boys um, they used to work at dance we used to do night shift and then overnights where back then they never had a policy on casual hours yeah okay so and then trying on. to do trying to figure out what to do with the business because yep. the business was never really turning over okay it was just sitting there you just doing bits and pieces that's what I mean the focus was, wasn't was on the business it was just trying to make money yeah because I, that's what I wanted to do at the time yep um, but yeah I don't know man that's, I don't even want to think about that kind of stuff back then that's crazy so I had an interesting message the other day from someone telling me that they used to pressure clean roofs with you or help you at some point in time what was that Trent he's <laughs> <laughs> Trent was he holding the hose for you he, he, he's a he's a good hose holder. That's, yeah. that's what he's that's what he's good for. Um, it's work, oh, hey. Me, I used to do it. I used to clean roofs for uh oh, shit. I think three three and a half years. I used to do it yeah. for my mate. Yeah. And it was um yeah. Some days were great. And some days were just Man, I, 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 hard work. I used mate. to just look back at that and go, why did I even do it? Yep. It's, it there's, a, there's a bloke in Melbourne named Wes from 180 Resurfacing. He's the one that said to me, this is where light bulb moment. Yep. Um, he's the one that said to me and he was like, why would you rather, why would you do eight things shit? Yeah. Why he's like, why are you yourself? doing it? And he just, he was very straight up with me. Nice. He's like, why are you doing it? And I was like, well, at the time I, I thought it was okay. Yep. But as soon as he pointed it out, yep. I was like, well, you're right. Yeah. It's not right. You I know could, what I mean? could be focusing on this one that's, thing and just And that's it. it. So, and that's like I said, that's where evolution came from. We just and I just wanted to focus on one thing, and at the time it was just garages. Yeah. Because I wanted to get good at one thing before trying to go and compete with the big guys. Yeah. Because at the moment I can't. Yep. You know what I mean? They're at a different level. Definitely. And that's but that's where the communication comes in. I'm always talking to other companies. Yep. And trying to go, hey, like, is there a certain way to do things? How yep. can I get to that point? Just and upskilling. Every, and upskilling. Yep. Um. Otherwise, same thing. You get to a point where you're just doing the same thing, and you don't want to get. To a point where it's just monotonous. Yes. And you don't want to go, oh man, I'm doing another garage. Yeah. You know what I mean? You want yeah. to get excited to be there. Yep. Um, living the dream, as they say. Living the dream. <laughs> I hear it 20 times a day. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, living the dream. I'm like, I wish you were. Like, you are not living the dream uh, right now. It's, 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 it's weird. I don't know why, why that comes. When, when you say that, I don't know why this comes to my head, but my, some of my mates still go, even some of my cousins, yep. they'll go, oh man, you must be loaded. Yeah. And I'll be like, loaded? Like, what do you mean loaded? They're like, you must have heaps of money because you run a business. Yeah. I said, man, you don't I even wish. <laughs> you don't even know what goes on yep. to make this happen. You like, spend more money than you fucking make. I, it's <laughs> yeah, they're just some people don't get it. Yeah, but I think until you actually dive into that, yeah, and and experience it and and really try tackle the challenges of, of ma- trying to make it work. Yeah, because um, as they say, all, a lot of small businesses close down. Quick, oh, right? hundred percent like, within the first twelve months. You see, see them pop up and then they're gone. Yep. Like yep. for lease sign, you know what I mean? That's or right. someone's That's it's right. not there anymore. Like it's so. But then I think it's it's where it comes to that point where you got to really have that hunger. Yeah. Because you're working towards something. Yeah. Well, like you were saying before, you, like what's that next step? Like you're at that point where you need to be like, this is where we take the next step. Yeah. Like you know, you need to. But figuring out what that is. Like that's the fucking hard part. That's that's because I I've been this I've been stuck there a couple of times. Like mm. we were talking about just before we started. Yeah. And the reason why I started doing the podcast and everything is like, what's the next step? Like mm. I need to learn more. How do I learn more? Yeah. I need to talk to people. You know, and I don't know if you've tried this before, but if you just go and walk into a random business on High Street and start asking them about their business, they're not really too keen to <laughs> nah, give you that insight. Yeah. You know? So that's why it's do the podcast to be more personal mm. you get an idea on who the person is behind the business yeah. you know because at the end of the day you're the one doing all the hard work you're putting the the image out there for mm. your brand you know so yeah. if people know who you are 
they're more like you're selling yourself. Well, that's hundred so, percent. Yeah. So it's, if people if people vibe with what you're doing, you're like, man, this guy's out there getting it, and it's mm. just like my garage is looking a bit average. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. But yeah, that's, but that's I get that's it. That's how it works. So like, yeah. um, to a degree, to a degree, oh, no. that's how it works. Oh, no. If that's how oh, everyone no. thought, <laughs> yeah, you it, need you need ten people working for you oh, to get the work done. But it's, that's that's the hardest part nowadays, man. Trying to find someone that's committed. Yes. Um, like I found the hard part is trying to have someone that has the same vision as you mm. because at the end of the day if someone's working for you they're just working for you you know that, so trying to find people with a drive that want to grow with you mm. that's um yeah i think it's, it's it is hard. a lot of businesses struggle with that because people will come there they'll learn and then they have the opportunity to do exactly what you're doing. Yep. You know what I mean? So it's, it's hard to find someone that's determined to stick around. Definitely. Um, especially in what we do now, there's a lot of guys, a lot, a lot of cowboys. I think there's a lot of cowboys in every trade. Yeah, roofing um, industry. That's what I mean. And, and, and same with flooring. There's a lot of guys that will will do the service for 800 bucks yep. and you go well what are you actually getting yeah. you know what I mean but then at the same time do materials stuff, even cost like, that, that's what I mean you, like you, if I was to do something for 800 bucks you wouldn't even you wouldn't make money you'd no. lose money exactly so, exactly but yeah so trying to find someone that has the same vision as you that wants to commit and stay with you yep. rather than learn everything for 12 months and, and then go open up and off. leave that's and then right. it's, it puts you in the hole so yeah 100% well that's the struggle you're investing in someone that's, and just for them to go and yeah. essentially become competition it's just like well and that's, but that's makes a, it hard that's wiring in the future yeah 100% and then they, they learn everything that you do exactly you know what I mean yep. um, but there's no secret to it like if yep. with this when customers want to know something, you got to tell them. 100%. You can't backtrack and go, oh, you're getting this product, this product, this 100%. product. And on the day, you give them a cheaper product. That's right. Ours is, is, mine's very straightforward. You just, honesty gets you a long way. 100%. We just, we tell them how it is. You're going to, we're going to grind floor. We're going to patch it. You're going to get this style of epoxy, this style of flake, this yep. style of top coat. This is the price, but we're doing it the right way. 100%. And there is no corners. We're not washing the floor and then just putting then one just, coat on exactly. and then leaving. Yep. Like, um, you're doing the process start to finish. That's it. And you get a service. Yep. If something goes wrong, you can call me. 100%. I'm not going to deny your call. I'm going to always answer. Like, I want to be there for the people too. Yep. Um, so, if something does go wrong and there is an issue, they do pay a premium price, but they can call me and go, hey, something's stuffed up. You're getting that after sales. That's correct. So, there's someone still there that's going to be there t- to help you with what you need. Mm-hmm. Um, and again, because it's such a small business, it, it, it is very face to face you're only dealing with Definitely. me yep so there's no there's no sales team yep. you're not dealing Perfect. with someone in the office it mm-hmm. goes straight to me and then I can sort it out yep so and that's the best well for how you running it that is the best way to be so like saying if, if there is a problem mm. they ring you yeah you were there you done it if there's a problem they ring you mm. if they recommend anyone they calling you you yeah, know what I mean correct. they're like hey I heard from so and so that you done this and like it's you they're not they're not speaking to someone at a sales counter to 100%. pass on to the apprentice that done it mm. 10 years ago or whatever, you know? So, yeah, yeah. it's a process. A oh, process, bro. But it's, I don't know. I come from a pretty big customer service background. Yep. So, because I started my days off 14 years old working at Macca's. Wow. So, a lot of Hustling. my... A yeah. lot, But a lot of my... my Doing that graveyard my, shift. Yeah, well, <laughs> a lot of my OCD stuff and a lot of my my... Like a lot of my mates know me and they, they know I'm just pedantic with everything. It yep. needs to be done right. 100%. Otherwise, we're not doing it. And that's why a lot of people don't like me when we're working together. You know what I mean? Because some people There's just no don't. There's no shortcuts. That's what I mean. Yep. And that, but Maccas, a lot of that stuff came from Maccas. From all from, those processes. That's it's because everything's a process. That's you know right. what I mean? Everything's done a certain way to achieve one goal. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. There's no different. You, you can't that, change that's a correct. step. It's not going to be Like a same. Big Mac's a Big Mac. 100%. There's a way to make a Big Mac. You make the Big Mac, it's going to come out that's exactly right. as it is. That's right. Like, if, there's a, if there's a step in the middle miss there, it's uh, that's obviously it. not going to be the final. Correct. So that's, and that's, yep. that's a lot of the stuff. Like as much, I didn't, uh, as much as I didn't like it there towards the end, mm-hmm. the amount of knowledge I got from where I was Definitely. really helped progress me to what I'm doing now. Okay. And it, it didn't, because... 
I think a lot of people they'll go, oh, Macca's, that's like easy job, this that. Until you, until you, until you start doing, doing it, it, yeah, man, you don't know what hustling's like until you start managing stuff like that. Yeah, right. It is just a whole of a job, bro. Like, it's good that you took those those core like those core values mm. like from that like yeah. to apply further down the track because yeah. like looking at McDonald's as a whole franchise that would kind of be their goal like well, they don't they don't just yeah. want you there just to make burgers and, and, and mm. manage the place you know like you've moved on and you're still using well that's those kind that's of what I make, processes they, to help in your life they've so got great training cool. yeah like they they if you, I've never worked it, so it's yeah, so, well, so well, cool to get that yeah. insight that that's 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 what you if can you take away. If you end up with from. a good franchise and good people working around you, where I was at the time, um, you really can can go far in it. That's cool. You know what I mean? And you don't have to have anything. Yep. You know what I mean? You don't need to have a degree. You don't have to yep. have anything. You can just be a hard worker and get far. Yep. So and take that knowledge. That's what I mean. Yeah. And if use you want to use it somewhere else, do, do yeah. it somewhere else. You it can. Works. So it works. That's what I mean. Yeah. And it does work. Yes. Yeah. So um, it's all the people that say Mac is easy. God. Go put an application in. Yeah. <laughs> Go try it <laughs> Go. out. <laughs> Go try it out for a couple of months. Because when it's busy, it sucks, man. The it's, pressure's on, it's, eh? Man, it's all pressure. It's, fa- it's fast paced. Yeah. There's always something happening yep. where you're changing over from breakfast to lunch, yep. food safety, you know what I mean? Cleaning up, making sure the shop's running good. It's non stop. You know what I mean? So it, it is a lot to process. Um, so if you. If you're chucking it under the bus, don't, yeah. don't do it. <laughs> go give it a That's go. That's what I mean. Have a go. Out. So <laughs> that um, goes for a lot of things in life. Oh, 100%. Have a go before you start bagging it out. I'm, I'm bad like that sometimes. Though. Yeah. I'll be like, oh, this, that. And then I'll be Fuck like, that. I'll do it. And I'll be like, oh, shit, yeah. Shit. Yeah, yeah. You gotta, you it's pretty, it's words, pretty tough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's mad. But yeah. So run us through um, what's, a, what's a basic day like for you? Like you get up, you go to work. Like what? What's the process? Like you run through it quickly before you if you're doing the grinding, you are patching, you what do you got like a primer that goes down and so, then your flake and then the top coat. I'll give you the one minute rundown. Yeah. So sixty second hustle. Yeah. <laughs> so generally speaking, we will Monday morning first garage grind the floor. Yep. Okay. So we diamond grind everything. We don't. Okay acid wash or do anything like that yep. diamond grind everything everything's connected to vacuum so it's it's virtually dust free to a, to a degree yep. um, after that clean up patch mm-hmm. divots cracks etc yep. primer coat okay. dry epoxy coat okay. full layering of flake polyaspartic top coat yeah, which right. is the clear Yep. So that's your 60, 60 second 60 rundown. Second if run someone down. doesn't know anything about it, yep. that's that's the process for say that's over a two day period. Yeah. So. Um, so do you, your primer and then you come back the day after. That nah, same day. Oh, so, so as long as you can get, as long as your day runs the plan. Yep. You can have it grinded, patched, primed, epoxy, flaked in the one day. Yeah. Well. Let that cure overnight or whenever you're gonna plan, and, and then come, come back, back and then finish coat. it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. but that's uh, uh, at the moment. Like again, because I'm by myself. Um, what are we turning around now? One, two, three, four. I'm only doing about five to six a week. Okay. And that's me maxing out. Yeah. Because I still haven't figured it. out. I haven't figured out that median or, or like <laughs> how to the, slow down. <laughs> yeah. Or, or just trying to figure out maybe a better way to do it. Yep. So it's a bit more efficient. Yeah. Like I. I the Just way I'm doing it now maybe is not as efficient as, as some of the bigger guys do it. Yeah. Some of the bigger guys that do it, man, they're just killer. Yeah. Like, it's inspiration because I'll always yeah, look at their stuff and I'll always uh, message them and I'm like, oh, bro, how'd you do this or how'd you yep. do that? You know what I mean? And when you make a good bond with other companies, man, they're not afraid to tell you. Yeah. Because you're not just some random going, hey, tell me what you do. Yeah. Because I'm right. going to go do it. Yeah, that's right. Like, you're not just going to walk in and try and undercut that's what their I mean. work, their yeah. customers. Yeah. So there's, there is a handful of boys out there that do a really good job um, and they're not afraid to message and talk and, that's cool. and, and like relay information or if you're doing something wrong, someone will tell you. That's cool that you have that network like in the industry because yeah. there's a lot of industries that that's, just that's what I mean. like that. Yeah. So And it's that's even cool. like even boys down in Melbourne, they, same thing. Yep. Like I can message them like I told you about Wes from 180 Resurfacing yep. or Tim from Absolutely Flawless they'll, they'll tell you yep that's awesome what, like what you need to know yep without just leaving you on red for example that's cool like it's it's good like that um, but I think it's the same thing like you I, I still get phone calls to this day 
and you, you know when someone's just trying to get info from you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But they're not honest about it. They That's just right. don't want to go, hey, I'm trying to do this. Can you give me a hand? That's right. Tell me, could you please explain to me how to do it? And I'm going to try to do it myself. If you just ask, it's that's, always that's, easier. It's so much easier. It's but people easier. will be like, oh, like. They beat around the bush yeah. and you're just like. How much is this? Yeah. What do you use here? How do you do this? And you get you get the feeling they're, straight off straight off the 100%. bat. They're just so, shopping around no. or, or just trying to find out 100 yep. so. and then it makes you wary like you don't really want to give them that information and that's where I go quiet because yeah. then I'll be I'll be really one answered as soon yep. as I know and then you can tell that they fi- that you figured them out yeah because then it's just like vibe quick. yeah <laughs> so the conversation kind of just dies and you're like okay well see ya yeah. bye see you so. bye <laughs> yeah message me back when you want <laughs> yeah <laughs> but, but um yeah that's um that's cool so it's great yeah it's great that you've had that there is a network within the industry, yeah, because there's a lot of a lot of industries, man, that 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 will not help you. Yeah, yeah, I've had a yeah, I've had a bunch of people laugh at me, but even in saying that, within like the apparel, like in the clothing brand side of things, for a lot of the local businesses that I know, like just even in New South Wales, for example, mm. a couple in Canberra and then a bunch of Western Sydney. They're all super helpful. Oh, hey man, my supplies out of stock. Like, yeah. can I is like, can I have the name of the guy you get your stuff from? You know, mm. and, like, is your screen printer busy? Mine can't do anything for like two months. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, like it's it's yeah, it's great. And then even stuff with like design, trying to learn stuff, trying to ask questions. Yeah. Hey, I got stuck on this. Is there any way you could figure that out? And then I had a one dude message me through some stuff just about like just commands on the keyboard just mm. like shortcuts and stuff and it's just like oh do this 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 it'll make your life so much easier I'm just like wow I can edit a yeah. video in an hour and now not eight like mm. it just makes the process yeah it's great it's great that there's people there that, that you can call on for help 100% because it's it's that support network you need and, yep. and we, like we got a lot of the epoxy guys know too like there's a good there's a good support there from the supplier as well yep so a lot of the times you're not just buying a product and that's it that's where it ends well they want their product on show that's to it. the best ability that's correct as well. so if everyone's seen it then yep. everyone's like shit that's where we've got to go yeah that's right like um and that's and that's that's the thing like i've stuffed up a few jobs early on um and there's like i said i gotta keep repeating the name because he's the one that helped me start out <laughs> where's from 180 resurfacing we'll have to put his link in the yeah bio. well he, he he would tell me he's like why are you doing it like that yeah he's like why don't you just do it like this yeah mate um, and then i and then it, again light bulb moment i go shit why well, i didn't even think not. Of, well, i didn't even think about exactly. it like that because he already knows how to do it yeah i'm just like shit well i should have done it like that yeah like um but then if if he doesn't tell me i would have never known i would have just kept doing just the same doing stuff doing the same thing so yeah um but it's good. Well, he he must see something if he's just like, man, this guy. Like, I don't know, he, man. He's he. If he ever sees this, he's gonna laugh because he, he's always giving me shit. He's just one of those guys. He just likes to give cool. me shit, but he'll still talk to me. That's cool. Like, I don't know. He's a good guy. That's cool. Good guy. But but it's good because yeah, in in that uh, in that kind of context, I guess a lot of people wouldn't be too fun to give you that advice if they can't see you going anywhere you yeah. know what I mean so yeah, 100%. If, if they're like this guy's got a future here or mm. they're like he's doing the right thing doing, making the right moves like he, he needs that little well he, that he, little bit of he help, drove you know? he drove that grind up from Melbourne for me wow that's like, cool and I was like I was like shit I was like because that obviously I mean it for that's one, cool. it saved me money for shipping. Yeah. And then he was going to pick up one of the, my smaller grinders. Yep. Um, but he, yeah, he drove it from Melbourne. That's cool. And I was like, shit, the, what a guy. I need like, to keep this guy's name <laughs> on my phone. Eh? <laughs> like, um, wow. No, nah, good bloke. That's cool. Honestly, a good bloke. That's so, good. Yeah. Exactly what you want. Bro, you need it. Yeah. 100%. 100%. 100%. Yeah. All right. Let's jump into question two real quick. Talk to me. Talk to me, he says. All right. I thought that was question two. No, that was question one. <laughs> so I told you, once you get talking, yeah, I, you I just forget. Yeah, keep yeah, cool. talking. Uh, question number two. So this is for other people listening that would maybe sit on the fence about some stuff or, or not really too sure how to go about it, you know? So what advice would you give to someone looking at starting a business? Like if one of your mates comes to you and be like, hey man, this is what I'm thinking of doing, like, what would be that kind of first conversation? Be ready. Be ready. Be ready. Yeah. Because be prepared. Be prepared. Do your homework. Hundred percent. And that's what the that's the biggest mistake I made. Yeah. 
I'm someone just dove into it. I'm someone that, and a lot again, people that listen to this are gonna laugh because I'm <laughs> someone that does things without thinking. Yep. And that's got me in trouble a lot of times. Yep. Earlier on in life, it's also got you this far. So it it, it, it has, bad. but. I make a lot of wrongs yeah, until, I, right. until I perfect yeah. it. And yeah. that's that's me. And again, when people listen to this, they're going to laugh. And it's, I didn't do my homework. Okay. I go, I want to start a business. Yep. And then I'll just be like, done, yep. ready to go. And then I'll be like, shit, how do I do this? Yep. You know what I mean? And then I'm stuck. I've already committed. I've started. I've invested the money. you got to figure it out. And then I don't know what to do. <clears throat> yep. So then I'm, I'm, I'm taking up... I've already invested that money, but the business is going nowhere. Where I could have potentially done my homework kind yep. of got the info, done the, the training and, and then the started running. making the money yep. where I'm, so I'm second guessing myself mm-hmm. already from the get go. Yep. Um, but best piece of advice, do your homework, be ready um, and don't be scared to ask for help. Yep. Um, even for me, when I first started, like going back to Trent, mm-hmm. he was always there. Yeah, and sometimes he didn't know what he was doing. Yeah, but he'd still tag along for the ride. Yeah, definitely. You know what I mean? Definitely. Like he'd still be there, whether it was holding a hose or yep. holding a ladder so I could get up onto a roof. Yep. Like he'd still come around. So that's mad. Um, and I think again, not being afraid to get a second job and and going, I might need to do this for a, a short period of time. Yeah, before, but, it, but it's going to get me to where I need to be. Hundred percent. So if, 100%. if it's going to help pay the rent or or whatever, pay for food every week, you just yep. do it. That's it. It comes naturally. It, but it really depends on how much you want it, right? Exactly. Because it comes down to hard work. I'd love to stay awake 24 hours a day Mate, so that's, I can that's do it. what I've got to do. That's it. But I can't. And I've done that I've done that plenty of times. Driving a truck for 12 hours but a day. you can't. I've heard uh, that. I yeah. Will, yeah. I'm not taking someone else's life just to get further ahead in my Correct. So Correct. until I stop driving a truck, mm. maybe what when I do stop driving a truck, then I can start going a bit harder on the, on the yeah. hours. But yeah, it's a couple of nights there where I've done like a 13 and a half hour day driving, mm. come home and then I'm editing to like one o'clock in the morning and then I've got to get up at four o'clock to start. It's like three hours mm. to go do another 12 hour day. It's like the sun hasn't even come up yet and driving, like trying to keep my eyes open. Like it's... That's just like, that just reminds me. It's not fun, man. Bro, that's, that's when I used to do Dan's overnight. Yeah. a few years back like three you years ago you just on autopilot bro Dan's overnight we used to finish like I remember we worked out at Caring Bar what the Caring Bar store out there me and my mate would go out there we'd work finish at five come back here and then I'd be going to labouring yeah, so I used wow. to do labouring back in the day yeah, yeah. and then go straight to labouring do that during the day and then I'd get called in for night shift and then go from wow. night shift to overnight to day that was my routine and it was yeah. making good money yeah but I was just a, veg- I was a vegetable yeah. man, yeah. honestly, like a fried piece of fish. Yeah. Like just not, <laughs> just I'd just be there. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Still doing good, but I'd yeah. still just be there and mentally just mentally just fatigued. Yeah. So, so that's why I, uh, well, I like drive, whether it's racing, whatever, doesn't mm. matter. Anything with wheels and a motor, I'm, I'm, I'm there, yeah. you know? So that's why I started driving really. But it's easy for me to kind of go on autopilot mm. because I probably shouldn't say this on camera, but my phone is in a holder like, yeah. and it's it's hands free yeah. I'm not touching it but I can still achieve so much during the day yeah with for sure this and with the business and the social media mm. emails I can still do all of that stuff in the truck yeah so it's good in that respect because I still kind of got that freedom yeah for sure whereas like you're saying if you're at an overnight job and, mm. and you're pumping stacking shells or unloading trucks pallets whatever like you can't be out doing floors of a night you know that's, what I mean so I'm, I'm pretty pretty lucky that I can do it that way and it does help take a load off mm. but still I can get more done in an hour on the computer than I can in 10 hours in the truck like, yeah. I'm just ticking off the shit list basically while I'm in the truck just getting those that little bit done emails messages posts like it's that doesn't yeah. stop you, you definitely need to learn how to multitask it's do you have any um I wouldn't say trouble. I don't like to use that word too much, but do you have any like uh, run-ins with the walls, I guess, when you're like trying to do jobs all day and then you're trying to control like social media, getting back to customers? Yeah. Or is that all like after hours stuff? It's majority after hours. (laughs) So a lot of the time, I I, I think I need a PA just to answer phones. Yeah. Because a lot of the time... 
I'm I've working. Got, I've got spell check out there on the lounge. Every time I send an email, I'm like, can you just make sure this is all right? Well, if, like if I'm grinding a floor, I try not to touch my phone. Yeah. If I'm painting a floor, my focus needs to be on the job. It's going to take away from what you're That's doing. That's correct. So I, I try, if someone's calling me, I'll just say, hey, can I call you this afternoon? Yeah. When it comes to social media, I was really good at one stage, but now okay. that it's gotten really, really busy, I think my last post was like... A month ago i'm posting like yeah. once a month yeah, but wow. then when i'm posting I'm, I'm i'm posting bulk posts yeah i think my jobs in regards to posting i think i'm backed up to end of december so yeah, i haven't wow. posted from all the jobs i've done from january to, to now to now yeah, i think wow. on my phone i've got like twenty eight thousand photos yeah, well. for example's sake <laughs> yeah but not all of the not all the flaws but like it's all done after hours there's a lot there that you could that yeah, you could definitely just get on there. Get out there. Yep. Um, but in regards to catching up and everything, everything's after hours. Yep. Has to be. Have um, you ever thought of making videos? No. Strap a GoPro to your head while you're I, doing your grinding. A lot and of a lot of guys do it and it looks awesome. Yeah. I haven't I haven't thought about it. Um hasn't something that hasn't been something that I have had time to think about. That's a lot of extra work. It, it is. And am, am I avoiding it? It's probably out a bit out of my comfort zone, yes. Yeah. I think yeah. so. <laughs> um but you're here today, so that's a step in the right direction. It is. And like we said earlier, pub- public speaking. God. It's a killer, hey. I suck at it. Man, like doing this, I'm still like, I'm, I'm, I'm quite comfortable. I, I, well, I'm actually, I'm pretty comfortable because i got you and I've had other people here like in yeah. my house, you know what I mean? So that's another reason why I actually like to do it here because in my house, like mm. I'm, I'm comfortable. So, I, well, I try to be comfortable, but... Put me in a go. Put me in a room right now in front of fifty people. Uh, yeah. I'll be um, uh, 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 I'll be struggling, struggling <laughs> to get man. it out. Same so as me. it's cool. Just kind of try and keep it nice and chill. And no, hundred percent. It's good. Rolling. It's good. It's good breaking that comfort zone anyway. Yep. Like uh, my life at the moment, it's pretty routine. Yep. So it's all very comfortable. Yep. You know what I mean? I know the process. I know what needs to be done. So the issue is the issue with me is as soon as I break a process. I'm in shock. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, because I, I know I know my schedule, it's a month month or two months in advance. I know where I'm going to be. I know what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. But then if something out of the ordinary goes wrong, breaks that, that then I'm process. like, shit, yes. I'm in meltdown. You know what I mean? I'm yep. like, why is this happening? Yep. Like, and you get days like that. 100%. Like, no days ever going to, well, some days do, but some, like, not every day is going to run the schedule. Yeah. And it, like, some days where you go, oh, I'm going to be finished by four and you end up getting out at 10. Yep. That's a bad day. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, it's just... Yeah, but then you're not going to be like, oh, I give up. I'm just going to go. Mm-hmm. you got to hustle it out. Just get it done. That's all it is. Just getting it done. Yep. Like... you got to. You have to. you just got to keep going. 100%. Something. It's always something. Something that's needs I mean. to be done. It's, that's it. It's... Yeah. But... Cool. You get it done. <laughs> you get it done. That's, that's cool. all it is. You got to do what you got to do. Going back to your question, hard work. Preparation yep. and yep. homework. I'm that, glad that, you got back to the question. That, that's, that's, what I, that's what I would say. <laughs> Yeah. Honestly, it's just just be prepared to do hard work and 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 just do your homework. Yeah, and, and ask for help, as you were saying before. Ask for help what? if you need the help, like whatever industry or niche or mm. whatever you're trying to break into. Ask people in that industry for help. Mm. Nine out of ten are probably going to say, they'll tell you exactly yeah. where to go. But you'll get that one business or that one brand or that one person that'll say look I can't tell you how I run my business but maybe try these couple of things yeah. and see how you go you know and then you figure it out it's just well, like it's it's not even you shouldn't be scared to even ask your friends like it's good to have I think when you start out you're pretty nervous with things that you do mm-hmm. um, so having someone there that you know that might just want to help out for a few hours all the day definitely like it, you, you feel a bit more comfortable having yep. someone there um, like back in the day when I was doing those eight things one of them was like window cleaning <laughs> yeah right and we, we I took on this job for a residential joint out in north north, north Sydney and it was like six six or eight houses in a complex two story windows they were stuffed covered in glue and I was the mate that just yeah, I knew he didn't want to be there yeah but he still came along because he was he's, he's a good mate of mine he just come and help he, out and, <laughs> and his name's Ryan and he just he wasn't very good at cleaning the windows yeah but he still tried <laughs> yeah, still, you know what I mean his heart was in the right place still had to go yeah but he just wasn't there yeah but that's cool he's, he's a good bloke so. it's good to have that help though that's at what least I mean. they're willing to come out and help you that's it yeah. so they like I think people that take the time out there and they, they want to see you do good yeah it's good to have around definitely like well they can see you going they can see like I've had a, a bunch of friends of mine even similar well, not a lot of people can really help 
mm. me do what I do unless I get bigger and then I need like somewhere to store stuff and you know, people picking packing and doing bits and pieces mm. one day down the line big factory would be nice oh, bro. studio to do all this stuff yeah. but then comes I need someone to do the editing for me because obviously that 10 to 30 hours yeah. is like another four podcasts you 100%. know what I mean so 100%. like that yeah it's just that is literally a snowball downhill that one that mm. list just gets bigger and bigger but to have the people they can see the direction you're moving you're like fuck he's he said he's gonna do this and he's doing mm. this yeah. he's moving forward he's making those steps you know what mm. I mean whereas at the start and you're talking about it and people are like oh yeah that sounds like a good idea mm. like the belief's not there well, and then when they see you like a couple of years down the track they're like fuck he's he's doing well, that's, that's it he's making thing. it happen people like to talk about it 100%. Not a lot of people will go and actually do it. Do it. Yep. I think that's the biggest thing. Um, I still have some friends now that I, I talk to where if they're going through something, whether it's not having enough money, yep. or they're having problems in relationships or whatever else, and I say, well, the only one that's going to make a difference is you. 100%. You know what I mean? If you're going to go well, out people there... People don't like to hear that, that's, and that's but a, it's the truth. That's though. the thing. If, if you... if, if Like, we, with my mates now, I'm, I'm pretty... We're honest with each other. Good. That's and good. I just say to them, like, if... If you want to go and make a change, Fucking you need to it. go out there and go do it. Yep. Like if you're going to sit around here, I said it's fine at the moment. If you want to mourn and cry and yep. and sulk about things that you can't control, control, then fine. But if you want to make a change, you, you need to go make that change. Hundred percent. But if you're going to sit here sulk and cry for months on end, then that's the same position you're going to be in. And that's the energy that you attract, right? That's right. They always say the people that you hang around are kind of uh, who you become. Yep. So same thing. When I was back in the day, I used to hang around grubs. Yep. You start to end up like a grub. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like, and now... I think, I think everyone's been in that kind of... That's what I mean. And, and, that's, yeah. and that's how it was. And I think back then, like, even in my 20s, I was just bad. Yeah. And then as you get older, you look back and you go, shit, I was just a wanker. Yeah. You know what I mean? 100%. And now, like, my friend circle's tiny. Yeah. Like, it's... But the value you all add to each other is... But everyone's tremendous. there for each other. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you need help or you want to talk to someone or if you just want someone to come over to have a drink with, people will be yeah. there if they have the time to do so. You know That's what right. I mean? They're never just going to blow you over. Yeah. Um, and it's nice to have those people around me that will support you. So, yeah. Not, um, not like back in the day, you could you could yell at 20 people and uh, no one coming to help you. Yeah. Sorry, man, I'm busy. So yeah, I've got that's something it. else on. That's it. Yeah. And and, and yep. that but that puts a good definition of, of, of Trent who you had here before. Yeah. He's someone that will always go out of the way to help me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Good bloke. Um good bloke Trent. Where like a lot of people wouldn't. Yeah. Like and that's I think that's why me and Trent gelled really well and we have gelled really well for for a long, long time. Mm-hmm. Like ten years now, I think. Yeah, well. So um Yeah, we're just doing good. Just be happy. It's good, good energy. To, it's good before. to have that network though. That, that's what I mean. And like, it's, it, it doesn't even come to business, right? Yep. Just life in general. Definitely. If you need to hand something, he'll, if he's available, he'll make best do and try be there. Always just a question away. That's it. And that's it. And that's what you want though. Like that's the... I'm sure. I'm sure he hates seeing my phone calls because, yeah. um, <laughs> like, because he obviously lives in Newcastle now yeah. and yep. I'm, I'm, he used to be local to here. Um, Mate, I, I call him every day. Yeah. I just, I just like, because I'm always on the road, right? Yeah. Traveling from jobs I'm, and I'm working a lot out um, in the city. So it gets lonely on the road. 100%. Like driving, man, like I, I've done a lot of kilometers since last year and it is just lonely. So as soon as I can, man, I'll call Trent. And I know sometimes he looks at the phone and just put, he just leaves yeah. it. I know he does. Yeah, He's told me before. That's fine, man. I like, you got to make the effort too. Yeah. Just like with anything. 100%. Otherwise, man, you just, you just end up fizzling out. That's right. So. But yeah, it gets lonely out there on the road, man. Oh, bro, I'm sure. Wait, how, how far do you go? Like, what's what's your like? You're gonna laugh. What's your this. average k's a day? Um, well, a week I average about twelve hundred. Fucking hell. So you move it, but the, the, I shot myself in the foot <laughs> because on my services, I'll service all the way up to Newcastle. Yep. And then I'll service all the way down to like Shell Harbour. Yeah. Well. So I virtually will try to do all of New South Wales. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. it's. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is like and I, I did that from the start because obviously when you when you first start off you don't want to say no to jobs yeah, no matter right. where it is you're going to go because that's that's where it is if, if the money is five hours away you're going to go get it well that's the, like, that's the uh, that's a sacrifice so that's another one I'm going to throw into that one for question number two people wanting to start a business sacrifice sure. like you're saying doesn't matter how far away it is mm. like you're going to go and do that job 
Like, well, are, are you going to miss going home tonight? Well, that's, that's <laughs> are you going to sleep like, somewhere and do that job tomorrow? Sacrifice is, is, is a big thing. Like, I think if you have a clear vision of exactly what you want to do and you know that you're going to put all your time and energy to it, yep. you're going to miss out on a lot of things. Definitely. You're going to miss out, like I said, It'll Birthdays, start off with your friends. Birthdays, right? barbecues. Weekends. Yep. There is no time off. Yep. Like, and before we keep going forward, the friends that decide to hang around, yep. they know what you're doing. Definitely. And they can see your vision yep. and they know you're doing good for yourself. So even if you don't talk to them for the week, they're not going to be like, oh, you didn't message me. You yeah, didn't talk right. to me. You know what I mean? You don't talk to them for a month. The connection's still there because when you do meet up with them in a month's time, it's like you never stopped talking. It's like you seen him yesterday. That's exactly 100%. right. So sacrifice you miss out on a lot yep. and you need to accept it yep. otherwise it's you can't be like oh I'm just gonna when you, especially when you're starting off you can't be like oh, I'm gonna have this Saturday off it's not, it it's not, an, not, it's an, not option. an option <laughs> Sundays there is no Sundays so like yep. now my routine is it's just never ends like I'll I'll go to bed on a Sunday and I'll be like shit's back on Monday and then I'll finish Friday and I'll be like shit I've got like more on the weekend yeah, you know what I mean so I don't know about uh, I don't know the the uh, Fuck, I don't know what word I'm searching for here. I don't know how you think of or view the weekend, but to me, the weekend doesn't exist. Like, mm. it's Saturday, Sunday. Like, it's not the weekend in my head. Yeah. Because I drive, I drive a truck Monday to Friday, and I do this Saturday, Sunday. I think, and then I back to work Monday to Friday, you know? I think... Like, that actual Friday's done, let's enjoy the weekend. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no, let's have time off for two days and... Mm. We're going on a road trip to fucking yeah. Newcastle, Port Macquarie, down to Jindabyne, like wherever. It doesn't matter where we're going. Like mm. Saturday and Sunday's are work days. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's we're, it. We're getting shit done. Mm. That's why I'm in a good position now. We've got the van. We can go camping. I'm mm. just like, grab the wife, load up the snacks and, yeah. the, and the clothes. I'm like, come on, let's go. That's She's it. like, what am I going to do? I don't know, but we'll mm. figure it out when we're down there, you know? So, so but with that sacrifice, that's the it. amount of things that I have missed and friends ringing they're like hey what are you doing on the weekend it's like mm. man I'm going to Newcastle this weekend yeah and they're like fuck do you like are you ever going to have a day off or mm. something I'm just like this is my day off like yeah. I'm going to do what I, what I want to do this weekend 100%. you know what I mean and that's and then you, you butt heads with family too man yep. like they're like oh why aren't you coming to this event well I'm working oh you yep. can't have work off or are you going to pay my bills yeah that's right you know what I mean like that's you're not right. going to do it and if you don't do it like if I don't go to work someone still wants their money at the end of the 100%. day people still want to get paid you know 100%. what I mean people are still waiting to be paid and if you stop working yeah like when you're not financially in that position to stop mm-hmm. you can't stop that's right so like for me I'm, I'm getting I'm trying to get myself to a point where I can slow down that's right where like some of the people I know that I'm mutual with some of them are only just starting to work yeah well, 22, 23 yeah like but at the end of the day if you're starting when you're 14 you're already putting in those hours 100% you know what I mean we're already getting that work ethic that's correct to, to, you, you know what hard work is you know what's expected that's what I mean of you so you know yeah, you know what you've got to do you've, to, you've to got, get the you've, result. You've got thousands of hours in already, already in the bank. 100%. Opposed to someone else that's just starting fresh. 100%. So, yep. sacrifice is big and it takes away something, not from just family, but from your partner. Yeah. Like, it's a lot of stress on on the relationships as well. It is. It is stre- that's, that's a good word. <laughs> it's a stress. Word. Oh. Right, yeah. it, it, no, it, do, it does. Like, Alana's my fiance one. and she... Um, like, we have our bad days. Yeah. And it does build up after time. Like, working seven days a week, and she does seven days a week as well. We'll yeah, see right. each other for dinner, go to sleep, do the same routine. Yep. Work, dinner, sleep, routine. Yep. Um, and after after a little bit, man, it does put pressure on it. Definitely. You know what I mean? Because you only see such... There's only a small portion there where you get to spend time together. Yeah. I don't think you get the realisation of how precious time is at the moment until you see someone... Definitely. ...hurt... Yep. or in pain um, for me it was kind of everything comes in threes so my mum had a stroke in 2017 Shit. my dad had cancer in 2018 and my fiance Alana she got diagnosed with epilepsy wow. end of 2019 just before Christmas wow um, so I think for me mentally I know my goal mm-hmm. it's 
if I have to sacrifice my own life to continue to work seven days a week to ensure that the people around me are taken care of, can be fit, healthy. I'm going to make sure that it gets done because at the moment I'm healthy. Yep. I'm still mentally there. Yep. And I'm hung. I'm still hungry you as I was everything. when I started. Like I'm still hungry. I want That's more. Good. That's so, good. So, and to see, like. Like, even one of my mates said the other day, they said that you should be grateful too. Like, you can still... Like, Alana needs to go to see a specialist. Mm -hmm. We can just pay for it to get it done. Yeah. You know what I mean? But that's because of the work we do behind the scenes. Because it's like, oh, the specialist is going to be 300 bucks. We're like, we're not going, oh, shit, where are we going to find the money? Yeah. It's like, you need to go see a specialist. You need to go get the medication. You need to go see this person. We just pay for it. You get it done. You You know what I mean? 100%. So... I think Healthy's number one too. At that's the, it. At the end of the day. And my mom's always drilling into me. She's like, you're not going to make money unless you're healthy. You need to sleep. You yep. need to eat good. I know she's probably, if she listens to this, she's probably <laughs> going to be like that idiot. But um, yeah. But it's it, true. If you're not looking after yourself, there's well, no way you can go and do what you do all day. There is no way. Like, no way no. at all. you so, got to look after yourself. So I think, yeah. So Health is wealth. That's the way I see it. 100%. Yeah. I think... Um, once you experience a bit of pain, I think then you realize how precious time is. Definitely. But it also makes you hungrier. It, I've, I've found that myself. The few, a few, nothing like that. Like, yeah. That's, that's crazy. But the few things that I have experienced, it's just like, fuck, like, mm. time's precious. That's, that's what Life's I Life's precious. It's like, I'm going to do as much work as I can now. So when the time comes, we can enjoy it. Mm. And we can not necessarily sit back and fly off on a fucking holiday yeah, somewhere 100%, 100%. but when the time comes we don't have to be like how are we going to do this now if we That's... go away here for even just a weekend mm. if we take a weekend off yeah who's going to pay for this That's how's it. this going to get done like it's the goal is to get to a point where we can just go we're out for the weekend if you need anything mm. send us a message flick us an email whatever and, yeah. then, and then you can be gone but then at the end of the day still gonna have the laptop That's so you're still gonna be doing something correct you're still gonna be sending emails That's you're still it. gonna be trying like it doesn't fucking stop well yeah i think even with sacrifice like back to that word sacrifice like big one if you i think if i don't know like in in my in my culture taking care of your parents is a big thing yep. for me and i think um because my mum was a single mum when i was when we were younger uh. and she sacrificed a lot yeah right yeah. and Hundreds. And that's and she because I grew up out in I was actually born in Cogra, yeah, okay. down in St George. So uh, moved out west when I was like I think thirteen. Okay. Um, but she did by herself. She was someone that came from overseas, not having any experience in much. Yep. Starting to work, fell pregnant. My dad left. She still got it done. Yeah. And what I see now is that. That's where your work ethic. That's where that's. But those I, I, want, I want to provide from. though, hundred percent, because she she made it happen with nothing. Yeah. Now I've got every opportunity. I've got opportunity here to make it happen, not only for me and Alana, but for them too. Yeah, definitely. You know what I mean? Because my even now though, like my mum still hasn't bought a house. Like she's still working. Um, yep. my dad, my like he's my stepdad, but I could just call him my dad. Yeah. Um, he's sick, so he's not he's not working. Um. And he's re- he's retired, so yeah, it's okay. like trying to get to that point where I want to be like, hey, like I don't want you to work as much. Yeah, that's right. You know what I mean? Like I want you to still enjoy life because you've already you've worked hard at the start yep. in the middle, and you're still working hard at the end. Yeah. Where some other people they're, they're relaxing. Yep. You know what I mean? They can they can have time off. They don't have to work. They, they don't can, have to worry about money. They can just go and relax. You're like, it. hey, stop working. That's just what I mean. Go do what you fucking want. And then and, and my friends question me now. That's, a lot of them will go, oh, like, why are you doing that? Like, why don't you just buy a house for yourself? Yeah. But then I'm like, well, you just don't know. Yeah, you know what exactly I mean? Right. You don't know what it's like to have nothing. Yep. You don't know what it's like to go through the pain. And when you're in that mental state, nothing's going to stop you to get 100%. to where you want to 100%. be. You know what I mean? So, and the, the people that understand and not, like have been through similar scenarios, mm. they're, they're like... Fucking get it, brother. Yeah. Like they're, totally, they're like, they know. They know 100%. what... Yeah. Wow. Push it, man. You got to push. push you got to push, bro. 100%. And it sounds... Oh, bro, that's, that, just, that, that segment there just went full, full depressing. No, but, but it's, it's, it's good to see that, like, the vision you have and where you're going, like, these are the things that drive you, you know? Like, that's why I fucking love doing this podcast mm. so much, you know? Because, like, that's the shit that drives you. Yeah. It's this... However many people listen to this, if one person's sitting on the lounge going, fuck, maybe I can 
yeah. do that you know I've yeah. gone through some similar stuff or I'm going through mm. some heavy shit I just gotta fucking push mm. like I just gotta this is what I wanna do this is how we do it now we go and do it yeah. you know a lot of people go through that that first two parts but they don't do it Correct. you know so I love talking to people and not not hearing it obviously I don't love hearing it that's yeah. fucking morbid as shit but that's the fuel man like mm. that's what's that's what's fucking pushing you because you know what it's like to not have everything that you want mm. and now like you said you're in an opportunity where you can have anything you fucking want that's it you gotta do the work that's it that's all that's, and that's you're all doing the work you're, you're, you're pumping and there's and there's a lot of people that go like oh but like uni's not a bad thing I'm not saying that at all but like people will go oh but we don't have this we don't have that yep. you don't need anything to become successful nope you just need to be you need a fucking idea you just need to be driven yep and you need to just like I said lay it down yep sacrifice work hard achieve definitely and there's no harm in failing at something and then and then go and then trying to pick yourself up and then go hey I stuffed up here here if we do it different here we're yep. going to succeed exactly you know what I mean I exactly. think a lot of people are going oh I don't want to start up because I'm because I'm, I'm going to I'm going to be like the other 90% that closed down in the first 12 months oh you already you already lost that, That's you know what I mean I and then already in your head you're gone yep. like you're done yep. so it, yeah it's, that um, yeah I I know a lot of people that have that that mentality mm. right but even when I when I started the clothing brand I was over in I was living over in NZ yeah in the area where I was living was four of like some of the biggest names in like the culture streetwear mm. clothing industry yeah and it's like and I went through all those thoughts it's just like how am I going to start like a brand here mm. and just get some shirts screen printed and like try and compete with these yeah. guys you know what I mean so. but o- already lost yeah like the game's already lost mm. like and then a few things happened and then I started thinking I'm like well fuck it like I'm I'm not here trying to compete with these guys mm. I'm just here being me yeah like I'm just gonna do my thing I'm gonna put my thing out there if people vibe people vibe if, they, if they don't keep stepping like it's not it's not a big deal but a lot of people get hung up on that I'm how am I going to compete with this big guy? You know what I mean? Like you can't, you can't hop into something and you can't, and you can't for example, you can't start a supermarket chain and then start try try compete with Coles. Exactly right. You can't. It just doesn't happen overnight. That's right. You know what I mean? Like right. Woolies is Woolies because that's that's, that's and Maccas is Maccas exactly because they've got the right processes and they've exactly. been around for a long time. They've got like, their thing down pat. And and that's and I think you see that a lot. Like based off that, you see a lot of like fast food joints or like burger places go up yep. and they go straight down. 100%. Because like, it's just not, the processes aren't there, but same thing, you can't expect to open up a burger joint and expect to be Macca's 100%. in 12 months. Not going to happen. Not going to so. happen. Have you, uh, you probably have watched that movie about McDonald's? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Great movie. Great movie. Really, I'm, really good movie. Yeah, yeah, I was watching, the first time I watched it with my wife, I was like, I'm like, mm. writing, I'm like, ideas, ideas, like, this yeah. is like, down the track style 100%. this is how we get shit done yeah that's how yeah that's think, a fucking good movie eh? I mean right people are always gonna tell you though yep. that's not gonna work heaps of people told me when I first started man like they're like oh, you're taking you're, 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 you're trying to do too much but then if I was trying to do too much but if I didn't even just dive into it yep. I would have never started 100% people going oh you, well at the time man I was I was riddled in debt yep. again people will laugh at this when yeah. they hear it man honestly <laughs> just loan after loan yep. from the early days when I turned 18 buying cars buying mm-hmm. sound systems exhaust yep. rims so I used to man. love cars <laughs> not just just loved I was in that car scene yep. and um, but I didn't have the money yep. it's all loaned yep um and then after a little while, you sell your stuff, you end up with a loan with no car. Yep. That's what I ended up with. And people are just like, you don't have the money. Why would you do it? Just try work like a few jobs and just get it paid off. But yep. I just didn't want to do that. Yep. Same Fuck thing, that. not thinking. <laughs> yeah. Diving straight in and doing it and getting it done. But um, even when I first started, man, it doesn't matter where you start, right? As long as you have an end goal. 100%. Like we started off, I started off with Trent. He used to do my signage. Nice. And like back then we didn't know what we were doing man he didn't probably really know what he's doing like to a degree right he's just winging half of we it we were just winging it man like I bought a ute I bought all the gear and then he's just like we're just like designing all these like um, 
the the signage for the ute and stuff. Yeah. And I had I thought it was cool back then. I'm putting like emojis in there. Yeah, I'm doing nice. all this weird shit. I'm trying to pack in as much info. <laughs> and then you realize people don't read shit like that. No. And then you look back then, like memories come up and you find look back then and then now you look now and then you go, Oh, Joel's wrapped my bed. Yeah. And it looks awesome. Yep. You know what I mean? Same. To come to where you were. Yep. It was just crap. Yep. But Again, it wasn't crap at the time. It was, <laughs> was great at the time, at the time, right? <laughs> like, um, yep. But it doesn't matter where you start because you know where you're going. 100%. Like, if, if you're going to start off with crap but you know in, in four years' time you're going to end up with something really good. Definitely. Then commit the four years and then just get it. It's worth it. 100%. What's, the way, yeah, the way I see that is what's that four years compared to the next... 40 of your That's, life and like, why would you doubt it like yeah. it's like saying I'm, I'm going to work this this job that I hate for the next 10 years but it, while I'm doing that job that I hate for the next 10 years I'm going could I go open my own business and do something that I really am interested in yep. you do that job for 10 years you leave that job to start the business that you're interested in you're 10 years behind yeah you're fucked you you're just fucked you might as well just if you don't you're already behind even like because I still do dance every now and then at the week on the weekend up in Penrith okay and um, there's people that still come through there man that just hate it yeah and I'll just tell them I said if you don't want to be here what like well, then go find here? somewhere else to work yeah, otherwise you make everyone else's life hard yep you know what I mean Been there. at the end of the day if I am getting paid 23 bucks an hour there I'm there to hustle yeah and people know that that's right again when they hear this you're they're to work lie. that's yeah. what I mean yep. even if it's moving boxes or stacking shelves yep. right um you're there to do you're there to provide a service you're there to provide a good service that's right um, and same thing I, at one stage I was doing dance day night and I was Ubering in, on Fridays and Saturdays yeah, well, yeah. to make buy like yeah, just to yeah. make do with, with money whatever and, it takes hey. and we had just the van and then we had Alana's car we just had a little i30 that yep. I used to Uber and used to drive to the city 8 hours used to do dance night shift fucking hell go from there home get changed go to the city Uber come home in the morning that's hot then do dance in the morning do dance Uber Saturday night and wow. then do Sunday all because I had the Sunday shit shift there like 9 9.30 till 7 something yeah right so then I'd do all day Sunday and then run the routine back into Monday but I'd only Uber two days but in saying that if I was getting an extra 400 bucks from Uber yeah. a week yeah that's 400 it's bucks crazy. you know what I mean yeah 100% at the time 400 bucks 400 bucks is going to help pay something definitely so you just do it definitely and then but a lot of people look at that and go, oh, it's only 400 bucks. It's just like, that's, yeah, but add that up over, over that's, six that, months. That's it. Like that. But like, what do you lose from that? You lose time with your partner. Yeah. You lose time with your friends. 100%. So it's while you're picking up everyone that's cooked and drunk and you yeah, know what I mean, taking them home. And out having a good time. That's it. You're the yeah. one driving them there and missing out. So, yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, on the flip side of that, why everyone's out getting cooked and bent on the weekends, mm. you're out like putting your plan in motion yeah well that's like that's it that's the sacrifice that's the way I see it anyway I'd rather go out and work Mm. than go and spend money and go and get drunk for the night you know what I mean yeah wow going back to what you said about going on holidays we actually went to Byron nice Um, we started in Byron then went to Gold Coast and then came down and finished in the Hunter and I, I do exactly what you just said I can't switch off no and I try I did try because even when I go on holidays, my phone's still going off. Yep. Email's still coming in. People still want to know something or people still calling. And I still haven't learned that balance where I can go... You can't touch I'm it. I'm just going to leave the phone there. Yep. I'm not going to touch it all day. And even if something does come through, I'm going to leave it. Yep. As soon as I see it, man. Because for me, I like to be on top of everything. If yep. it comes through, action. On action, it. action, action, on action. It. Done. Yep. Um, and that's the struggle I had. We went for a week and I was just on my phone. You like, need to set a time. And that's, yeah. Just, so it's a time. So even if, doesn't matter what time of the day it is, 20 minutes, half an hour, mm. whatever, an hour, just like I just need an hour just to get your shit done. Yeah. And then you got the rest of the day. Because mm. I find the same thing when we're out, it's get bad. a message, message, it's get bad, an email, it's email. Bad. It is bad. And then, yeah, the, that's what my wife's like. She's just like, can you just mm. stop, please, for a day? Can you just stop? Like, yeah. Well, that's, that's hard, man. That's like at dinner time, because that's a lot of the time where like me and Alana will see each other. Yeah. So when we eat and stuff we just try but that, that's what we try not to do yes. try not to have our phones we just try to talk for the time that we have because yep. um, if I'm not working late and I'm there um, and we're having dinner then I want to go to the gym you know what I mean so there's still time that needs to be taken away from us but it's something that I need to do for myself Definitely. too it's just like my getaway Yeah. I go to the gym for an hour a day even if I'm tired I'll still go yep. um, but that's just my release because then when I go there 
I've achieved something else for myself. Yep. You know what I mean? I'm not thinking about work. I just yep. play, play music mm-hmm. and, and just go. trade. And Listen just go. To music. And that's I can't it. do it. Hey. What? What, what I, do you mean? When I'm at the gym, well, when I used to go to the gym, yeah. I kind of let myself go. No, you look great, mate. You look good. You're looking good. <laughs> Getting a keg going now. But uh, I can't listen to music, hey. Really? I can't. Even, uh, we go to World Gym, but even... Same here. Yeah. I haven't been there for oh, okay. like six months okay, now. Okay, okay. I've been there for about six months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, if I could be about six months, it was before, way before Christmas. Second round of COVID, I think, before yeah. the second round of COVID mm. come around, they opened back up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah That's yeah. when we started going back. And then when COVID come back around, I was just like, fuck that. Oh, <laughs> just, wow. uh, but then work and a lot of other things mm. happening. So, but yeah, I can't listen to music. I wow. can't do it. Even even the music in there that they play, yeah. like it's, I couldn't even no, tell you what, I couldn't even tell you what songs are playing. Yeah, but that's that's because but it's the focus. Yeah. Because that's what even even the wife says to me. She's just like, how it's like like what kind of robot are you? She's like, how can you not listen to music? Like, it distracts me. Like well, I can't. I, I just pick songs that I can flow to. Yeah. That, like whether it, it, it could even just be I'm not saying it's opera, right? <laughs> but it could be Whitney Houston. Yeah. Uh, it could be going through emotion. If it works. If it if it feels right. Yeah. I'll leave it on there. There's no set playlist. Yep. You know what I mean? I'll just kind of put it on and then let it yeah, go. Let and it pick play. by itself. Yep. Like it's. But yeah, no music. That's that's, dif- that's different. I used to when I well again back to NZ. I used to twice a day. I used to go to the gym mm. twice a day every day, seven yeah. days a week, twice a day. Used to pump it, and it was it was good. It was a good time. Mm. But I used to listen to music all the time. But I never used to listen to the music. Yeah, it used to be on in my ears. Yeah, gotcha. but I was never like I wasn't even paying attention mm. to it in the first place. Yeah, and then the times when I take them off. And then forget to put them back on mm. and do another set. It's just like, well, that didn't change anything. Yeah. And then it gets to a point like, doesn't matter what exercise I'm doing at the time. It's mm. like I'll pick a spot on the wall and I'll stare at that spot, and that's it. It's yeah. Just yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. It's like tunnel vision. And uh, the wife comes and she's like trying. To, I'm sitting there trying to just trying to breathe, and she'll yeah. have to tap me on the shoulder, and it's like snaps me. Up. I'm just like, yeah. I'm like, yeah. what's up? And she's just like, are you okay? I was just like, yeah, I'm good. Mm. I'm like, oh. I'm here to work. Yeah. Like, and that's what this gets like after hours. It's like, yeah, gotcha. Once that focus switch gets on, that's it. It's mm. on. She has to come drag me out of it. She's like, you need to come grab dinner. I'm like, okay. Like half an hour goes by and she, and she comes in and yeah. she pushes the thing in and pulls the seat back. And I'm just like, all right, time for dinner. Oh. Otherwise it just won't stop. Mm. So it's no, just sure. the focus. You have to be focused. Well, that's, I mean, taking it back to your sacrifice point. Yeah. It, 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 at the end of the day, it's no easy way to put it. You got to do it. You're gonna, you will lose out on a lot of things, and you got to do the hard shit that you don't want to do. If that's what you want, you don't. You sacrifice as much as you can. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. It's that that simple. Well, let's jump into another question, so we can talk to me. Keep talk rolling. to me. So, question number three for you, Conan. Mm-hmm. If you were to go back and start again, would you do anything differently? Heaps. 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 Yeah. Oh. In relation to business? <laughs> you can make this about whatever you want. Um, nah, it, let's start with the business. Heaps. Yep. Heaps. Okay. I, I think it's. I think we've kind of touched base on that topic a little bit before. Yep. Speaking to other businesses, like yeah, just networking and... Ne- doing more networking, but also doing homework about what you actually want to do. Yep. I think co- trying to stereotype one industry and be like, I'm just going to do all of it. Mm-hmm doesn't make sense yeah it's a failing task waiting to happen and that's that's exactly what happened like like when i mean that business was turning over nil money it was virtually not making any money i was yeah, relying right. on the other three jobs i was doing externally to keep to keep going to keep and to going. keep that kind of feeding and then i was all that money i was making externally was feeding that yeah so yeah you're um, you're just working you're working the other jobs to keep that to one keep that going, one going keep that's all it yeah. was okay. so I think the most important part is just doing your homework and talking to people before you start. Yeah. I just don't think as much as diving into something might feel good at the time. Yeah. As weird as that sounds. It, <laughs> might, it might feel good at the time. You know what I mean? Like it, it sometimes doesn't pay that end result. Yeah. Because you just, it, yeah, it doesn't make any sense. That, that, that would be my biggest issue. Again, like uh, I just like to do. Yeah. 
until I realize it's not right. Yeah. And I'm like, shit, yeah. okay, I can't keep doing that. You know what I mean? If this is what we need to do, okay, let's go. And then yeah. you're like halfway into it and you're like, well, this wasn't a good choice. That's, yeah. So that's like for me, now I can't, we need to think. Yeah. yeah. Like I can't, I'm, I've never been big on studying and, and into books and, and being able to do like the guys at uni do, how they always do it, like yeah. quite and heaps and doing can't research. Do I just like to work yep. and learn on the fly yep. and get it done. Just hard, just work hard. That's Audio it. books while you're working. Yeah, I, I, I like like we said before. I love podcasts listening to podcasts, stuff. like yep. just back and forth, like and, and same thing, like just listen to other people's experiences. Yep. Um, but I think you, you said it as well, networking. Definitely. I think if you can get in touch with other companies that want to help. Yep. If you can get in touch with other companies that want to help. But it's not being afraid to ask. That's correct. Just ask the question. And you like might ask, you might ask ten people, and ten people might say no. That's it. But don't let that stop you. No. Still keep. Awesome. It is it is disheartening though. Like even when I first started, I was I would message companies, but then again they'd let you leave you on red. Yeah, and you're like, God Fine. damn it! Like you know what I mean? Like I don't want to ask again and disturb someone else. Yep. Um, but it's 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 just you just need to grow some balls and do it. Yeah, 100%. and 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 and, and going from what we said, just and and be afraid to be told no. Yeah. Like I'm not giving you any info. A lot of people don't want that no. No, that's that, that and that's what I mean. And so, as soon as you get the no, it's like you you've lost everything. I like it's I used to hate it because mm. yeah, like who wants to be told no? no like that's you know, it. like yeah. it's a letdown, like mm. you don't fucking like it. It's not it's not enjoyable. Yeah. But now I've gotten to a point where if I if I start talking to like another business or some not random but someone mm. messages you on Instagram hey looking at your page do you do this do you do that like whatever it is and then you can kind of see that they kind of want to say no yeah. or they don't really want to like we were talking about this before you get yeah. to a point where you're just like oh I don't really want to yeah. keep going with this you know <laughs> what I mean it's like I get to a point now where I'm like can you just say no mm. like if you're going to say no just say no Yeah. like 100%. don't give me a, a five paragraph reason on why it's not going to work just mm. say no that's not a good idea because it's off the list next person like that's I'd rather it. you tell me now just so be I'm straight not up with wasting it wasting time that's it well yeah I see it as a waste of time now the time I was just spent going back and forth to get a no you could have just said no and I could have messaged five other people by now you know so funny story that this is this is fairly recent we got stuffed around by a broker um because we're looking at buying a house the joys and um <laughs> whatever reason I just had a good vibe off this lady from the start won't name any names and then same thing she put us she put us in a position where we could have lost a lot yeah wow. um, but from the start she should have just said I can't do this for you yeah. but from the start she was going we can make this happen yeah. this is all going to be just you know what I mean get you. just feeding us info that maybe wasn't right yep. and we got stitched up with that but then yeah, it's, wow. it's like I wish you just said don't worry about it. Hey, you got to save another 40 grand. 100%. And then when you get that 40 grand, we'll make it happen. 100%. Instead, it was like, oh, hey, you, like... Yeah, when push comes to shove, it's just like, we well, can't really do anything. That's you know? what I mean. Yeah. And it was just like, oh, why don't people do that? You know yeah. what I mean? Just tell me from the get-go, it's not going to happen. 100%. But, 100%. Yeah, so, yeah, just tell, yeah, tell you straight up. At least, like you said, you need this much more before we can really do anything That's for it. you and yeah. you go okay too easy I'll come back mm. in 6 months 12 yeah. months like whatever you, you reassess and you go back but yeah it's the dragging on it's just like it's just a fucking waste of time oh, 100% yeah yeah. Um, doing things differently yeah I think it's and based off that as well hindsight's think, a motherfucker uh-huh. <laughs> looking Talk. back and go if I knew then what I know now yeah you can't really go down that rabbit hole no, too no, far I know you go, I think a big thing as well is not focusing on the money yep um, money. I'm glad I don't. <laughs> I mean, money. Money will naturally always come and go. Definitely. Sometimes you're gonna have a lot, and sometimes you're not gonna have anything. Definitely. It'll, it'll always fluctuate quite a lot. Um, when your focus is purely on just making money, then the you're stuff have that a hard time. Yeah, the stuff that you do and and the care that you have with the customers isn't there. Mm-hmm. And I think at the start, when I first started, it was all about because I was so hungry for it. I was like, I just want to make money. Yep. How do I do it? You know what I mean? Work. Where I think it was taken away from the customer like service side of things yep. where now the money will naturally come in right yep. I don't have to do much more than provide the, ser- the, the, the service, service. Yep. if I devote my time to the client that I've currently got mm-hmm. no matter what the money's coming in definitely so do the right thing be yep. honest 
do the job as it should be, mm-hmm. the money's always going to come in. Yep. You know what I mean? Where before I was like, money, 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 money. That one good customer too, that one good experience That's it. could lead to 10 more. That's it. Whereas that one that you rush and yeah. it turns into a that's, fucking that's exactly absolute hunk, yeah, 100%. Yeah. You don't just lose that customer. Mm. It's anyone else who hears about that and goes, oh, maybe I won't yeah. reach out to them and get them to do it for me. Like, yeah. That one good customer is worth way more 100%. than... Uh, well, that one good experience, sorry. Not the one good well, customer. People, people talk, but it's like anything. They want the, they want a good experience, that's, though. That's it. They're like, oh, he came to my house. We had a good chat. We have a cup of coffee. We yeah, had a good chat. That, he yeah. stopped and talked to me when I come outside. Like, it's those you, things that, that you, people up. I think you don't realize as well what people are going through. Yeah. Because I think nowadays people are quite, like... People are like turtles. They just go into to yep. the shell, right? No one wants to talk. Yep. So I think when you talk to a, like a party or a person that you don't know mm-hmm. externally, yep. I think people open up a lot more because even the last couple of weeks, like I've had conversations with people that don't even have any relation to what we're doing. Yep. People just open up because yeah. they want to talk. It's crazy, hey. You know what I mean? Because they <laughs> yep. just want to talk and you're like, yep. and then I think when, 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 when it clicks and you realize that this guy just wants to talk or this lady just wants to talk, yep. then you're just like, Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna listen. Yeah, and I'm gonna talk. Because if if you and th- and that's the thing, I think that, that and that comes out of your own time. So if you're providing that extra thirty minutes with that customer, yep. it goes a long way. Definitely, like big time. Definitely. So uh, a gentleman I'm gonna have on the podcast soon actually said the same thing to me. Uh, I went to his workshop and had a quick chat with him a couple of weeks ago. Mm. Um, but yeah, they're away every weekend. He runs a workshop, so it's like it's not going to be a weekend thing it's going to yeah. hopefully I get an early day from work one day yeah, and yeah. I'm like I'll just we'll go set up in the workshop and do it there it's only local so it's, yeah. it's good but it's just timing and a, a lot of it's timing but he said the same thing to me man he's like I love what you're doing he goes it's because people want to fucking talk about themselves mm. he goes like not to sound like a prick he goes but people just want to talk about themselves Yeah. he goes so it's mad to like just sit down with someone he goes you ask them a question and, and away they go mm. And, but a lot of people that oh, not a lot of people a few people I have had on the podcast have previously thought about starting their own podcast mm. or have since started one yeah yeah which is cool wow. they've had that idea you know and it's just like oh I don't know if this will work and then like right now you sit down and have a what? conversation yeah. and you're like I could sit down and have a conversation with someone the hardest part is um, a stranger but like you said you're more you're more likely to have that good conversation yeah. because like don't know enough about each other for there really to be any judgment well that's so you have that's exactly right most definitely whereas like i don't know about you but a lot of my friends i could tell them like one sentence and then you get like a list of things from them and you're just like well why the fuck did i even open my mouth you know what i mean so yeah it's cool it's good yeah i like it (laughs) it's good i fucking like it man so Anything else that you would do differently? Like, uh, whether it would be uh, like supplies, for instance, or... Use good product. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes... Pay that, the money. That Well, they, 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 they say it off the bat and they say it everywhere you go. It's not just epoxy. Yeah. Anything that you do, generally speaking. Yeah. If you want good quality, sometimes you've got to just pay for it. 100%. Like, some, like sometimes a cheaper price doesn't necessarily mean you're getting a better product. Yeah. Um, that's why a lot of people do the three quote stuff. Mm-hmm. A lot of people won't go the most expensive. Yep. They won't go the cheapest. They'll pick the one in between. Yeah. Um. You, like at, when I first started, man, it was it was just like, how much money, how much profit can I make on this job mm-hmm. by using products where they're a lot cheaper. Yeah. When now, I mean, unfortunately, I make less profit. Yeah. It is what it is, but I buy everything that has a standard. Yep. You know what I mean? So yep. when I'm using it, it's I'm confident. Mm-hmm. I'm not going in there second guessing myself because that's you know that's it's a, gonna last. That's that's the worst thing about me. I've got a guilty conscience. If I do a job and I've stuffed something up and I can see it but the customer can't see it, I yeah. can't stop thinking about it. Yeah. So I You're have like, to fuck. fix it. Yep. Now even if it comes as an extra cost, yep. or if it, even if it comes out of my own time, I'll tell the customer straight away, hey, can you say that bit over there? I think yep. I missed a spot. I haven't done that right. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, not happy with how that's that's it. So I'm I'm gonna redo it. Yep. It's happened to a few of my clients where the job to them was perfect. Yeah. But then I looked at it, but because I knew yeah, that was that's the issue. Because I seen killer. it yep. and I was like, fuck, I'm gonna have to fix this. Yeah. Like I have to, I can't leave this job. Because then in the back of my head I'm like, 
if the customer sees this yep. and then later on they're not happy with it, it's going to be a, a future problem. Yeah, that's right. So if I can fix this now, yep. there is no issue. There's no problem. That's correct. Yeah. So And it's better that you fix it now. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. That's me. I, and I hate it though. That's cool. Because I wish. I, sometimes I wish I could just look at it and leave it. Yeah, like, no. Nah, you can't do it. And I can't. There's a lot of people that, that do fucking leave it. Yeah. And then like you said, like we are talking about earlier, when mm. it comes time to, hey, there's something wrong, like they don't answer the that's phone. That's what I mean. Yeah. They've got your money and, and they're mm. gone. So that's no, cool. It's a quality. Good service. Good service and quality. Yeah. So um, I think if you're providing a good product, man, generally end results always better. Yeah. It's I mean it's definitely it's pretty straightforward. With but that. you got to pay that price. You do. Which a lot of people don't want to do. But at the end of the day, like you said, if if you want the quality, mm. if you want it to last, mm. and you don't want any problems, you have to pay yeah. that price. Like it's just it's inevitable. You have to pay that price. It's like so, yeah, if, you, if you're going to go with a big company and if, you, if, you, if you're going to go with someone that's reputable, you're going to win. Definitely. You know what I mean? If you want second best, go go someone that's charging half the price. Exactly. And that's fine with me. Yep. A lot of people still call up nowadays, man, and they still, I'll go, for example, sake, I'll be like, oh, yeah, that's 2500 Yeah. And they'll be like, oh, but um, I'll make it down the road on Facebook that doesn't have um, an Instagram or a website <laughs> or any really contact details. What <laughs> yeah. I found in my marketplace is doing for half, half the price. Yeah before I used to feel bad and I used to be like oh maybe we can work out a price here or I can make it cheaper here or if we do this Um, now I'm just like look I'll explain it first this is what we use this is how we do it there's a reason why it's that price Um, and if you want it done properly this, this is yeah, it. And we're not we're not going to yeah. negotiate. That's right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sometimes I mean, if you might you might drop fifty or hundred bucks here, fine. Mm-hmm. But we're not we're not talking numbers anymore. Where it's like five or six hundred dollars. Yeah, that's right. Like if you want the quality, come here. That's right. Like I said before, if you want second best, go somewhere. Go else. somewhere else. That's yeah. it. Yeah, I get uh, so it's kind kind of similar. Every now and then I get messages about oh like whatever the price is for a shirt or hat. Mm-hmm. I'm like, well, that's a bit expensive. And yeah. It's just like, well, go to Kmart and buy a five dollar shirt. Like, yeah. If you don't want to spend the money, like it's made here by other local businesses, mm. like supporting their families and yeah. paying their bills, like you're not just buying a shirt from me. Mm. Like you're helping like four other businesses behind me. You yeah. know what I mean? So it's like if you can't see that, fuck off. Mm. Like it's got to a point now. Like I just maybe I shouldn't be that brutal with people, but it's just Man, like it's, it's like I put a lot of work into this. Okay, if you can't see that mm. in the value. It's it's I'm hard. Not say it is hard. Tell it, them, nah, it's, it is hard nowadays though with with supply because obviously a lot of stuff comes from overseas. Yeah, it's like quarter of the price. Exactly. You know what I mean? So a lot of the stuff we try use, even with our stuff, we try get a lot of the stuff from here. Yep. But unfortunately, a lot of our accessories like made overseas. It, it is, and you the, know the it is. You can't, you can't you can't deny it. You know yep. what I mean? Like your roller sleeves, your frames, yep. like a lot of those things that come from overseas. That's why they're cheap. Yep. You know what I mean? But a lot of the products we actually use, we try use. Here in Australia, yeah. Um, but something, some things you can't get around, man. No, like, but a lot of the stuff that does come from overseas is good stuff. Yeah, like it, the quality it is. is there. I'm They're sorry. made in good, like especially when it comes to clothing and stuff. Obviously, there is a lot of factories in China that yeah pump out some child slave labor, like mm. worst fucking shit possible. Yeah, like it still happens. Like mm. if people think that it doesn't happen, like do a bit, you'll be ignorant to that. But like it still happens. It still exists. But there are also multi-million dollar like multi multi million dollar businesses that own the factory yeah that pay their workers probably more than what you get paid here like the working conditions are there Mm. there it's like working for a big corporation here like yes the processes are there to help them at the end of the day and that's where the quality comes from Mm. but people still don't they still don't reckon no come from china that's it it's yeah. like, well, go and look on the packet of nearly everything in your it's, fucking it's house. All it's all overseas. it's all made overseas. Yeah. So but like you said, if we can support the people here in Australia As much as we can. As much as we can. Definitely that are making it because of like these shirts, the AS colour shirts, like it's no secret, mm. but they're like a standard in the industry. Yeah. Like and I'm sure we AS style's good. Yeah, I yeah, like no, it. they're top like, stuff. Yeah. It, it costs money though. That's mm. the thing. Like it's it's great. But at the end of the day, I've, that cost still needs to get passed on, you know? Sure. Yeah. If I go buy 100 shirts, 150, 200 shirts, obviously, mm. I can sell it for cheaper, you know? Yeah. But, yeah, it gets, it gets hard at times. But, like, they're made... Uh, I'm pretty sure they're made in Bangladesh. But, uh, 
if you go look at something else that's like a lot cheaper mm. even I've had people messaging me and they're like oh you use Ace Color Shirts they're expensive I'm like mm. yeah because it's they're like good, good quality it's the best quality yeah. that you can currently yeah. buy it's like yes you can go and buy a shirt a blank shirt for half the price mm. and it is still good quality but go throw it in the washer a hundred times next to Ace Color yeah, Shirt it'll every gone. time well yeah. these are brand new mm. this one's brand new but I've got shirts that I got made in 2000 started no mid 2016 when i started the brand mm. that i still wear now yeah that when i wash it and it's dry and i put it on it still fits me like the shirt yeah i can pull out of a package right now mm. like the quality is just there yeah so you pay you have Mate, to pay for that quality to, you have to so and it's 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 just like saying with, with a lot of stuff i mean a lot of the things that we do and a lot of things that like we, even with shirts and stuff it's not a forever thing yeah but you, you pay for something to last a lot longer mm-hmm. than a cheapest product. Yep. So um, whether our product lasts five years and, and the cheapest stuff lasts two years, yep. you're extending it by three years. Exactly right. And then, like I always say to my customers, if it's going to cost you an extra 500 bucks, yep. you divide that 500 over five years, for example, so it's, it's, it's peanuts. It's, it's nothing. It's peanuts. So That's right. It is an initial cost here. Yep. Long term, you're That's getting right. a lot more for it. So. But, even, but even saying that, think about that difference, like two to three, like to five years, what do you want to pay fifteen hundred bucks now? Pay fifteen hundred bucks in two years, that's, and then yeah. pay fifteen hundred bucks again in another two that's years. That's it. Yeah. You're at the price now. That doesn't make sense. Like, that's yeah. It. But then, yeah, when you lay it out to people, they're like, "Oh, yeah, I'll just pay the money now." Mm. But they just don't want to take the initial hit. That's that's it. So yeah. you're gonna save the money in the long run. Hundred percent. That's right. Mm. And then, and yeah, if there's a problem. You're only a message away. That's that's it. You're and only that's, got and a that's message thing. and be like, "Hey, this is happening. Can you come have a look at it?" Yeah. And and you go have a look at it. Mm. So, yeah, after sales, very important. You have to, you have to have it. Yeah. Because there's one thing to make the sale. Yep. And there's one thing to provide the service. Definitely. But then if something goes wrong and someone can't call you, yep. that's when things go downhill. Because people people in this day and age, they want to be able to talk to someone. Definitely. You know what I mean? Yep. And they want it to be fairly reasonably quick. Yep. Like they want to be able to pick up the phone, leave a voicemail if you miss it, but you, you need to call them back within mm-hmm. 24 hours at yep. least. And I try my best to. Sometimes you don't get it, but I try 24 hours as a minimum. Um, and if they, ha- if they can call you and you get back to them within the day and you go, hey, I'm, I'm booked out for a week, but I'll be there next week. Yeah. It puts their mind to ease. Definitely. You know what I mean? They so, know that the solution is, is on the way. Correct. Something is, is going to happen where where it's like, they make a phone call, you never get back to them. Yeah. Like, shit. And now they're, they're... What have I done? Yeah, that's right. So... Yeah. Um, that's cool. Yeah. That's good. Let's... Um, Water break. <laughs> let's go to question number four. This is a... Now, mm. I don't know how much you want to elaborate on this or not. Ooh. So this is on... Why are you looking at this serious? This is on you. Oh, is it? Yeah, well, uh, yeah. Oh, don't do that to me. This is, uh, this is on you. So you can elaborate on this as much as as much as you want, really. Mm-hmm. As, how much you want, to, you want to put out there about it. That's, sure. <laughs> that's up to you. <laughs> so what does the future look like for yourself? So is there any big plans for the business? Do you have any kind of um, unfinished, unfinished business? I guess with the with the name and the brand that you're still wanting to achieve to push further and take that next step. I want to grow? Yeah, I'm currently restricted. Okay, because I'm only one person. Definitely, there's only that's, so much you can do. That's it. Physically, so growth is a big thing. Trying to figure out growth and become uncomfortable to take it to the next step. Yeah. I think is a is a big mental thing for me because I've got it to a point where the business is is fairly comfortable. Okay, it'll turn around a good profit. Yep. it's providing a good service. Yep. But how do we go past residential and okay. doing the same thing? Yep. You know what I mean. But how can I take it to the next step without ruining what I've already started? Yeah. Okay. Because taking it to the next step, there's a lot more input. And there's a lot more things you need to Definitely. buy to Definitely. make it happen. The investment is it's huge. starts to jump a lot. It, it, 100%. Yep. Because after epoxy, I mean, the world's your oyster, right? Because I haven't even really broken into commercial yeah, okay. warehouses and all that kind of stuff. That's okay. left to the big guys. Yep. Because they can, they can manage they, that, they can right? Yep. So, um, but even little things like starting to learn how to polish concrete. Yep. Um, but again, it's, it's a hard market to be in because there's guys out there that have been doing it for so long that are already killing it. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's so some, their, 
That's, yeah, that's their niche. Yep. So if someone needs polished concrete, they'll be like, oh, that guy really does a good job and he's yep. been doing it for 20 years, go to him. That's the guy you so, go to. So it's the same as me. So trying to go, if I want to break into that market, how do I do it? Okay. Or if I want to produce more, it's either going down that path or going, do I just keep focusing on residential, potentially break into commercial, but then trying to figure out how to get it to that point and have staff on. Yeah, yeah. So... That's my current yeah. struggle. And it's funny because I've been talking to Trent about it for probably the last 12 months. Trent needs to get off the computer and come get on the <laughs> Come do some floors. Oh, he's, yeah. He, oh, man. I, and I, I just get nervous when I think about it. Like, because yep. it is a big step. Even trying to put someone on full time, so. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I just don't want to commit to someone that's not, doesn't want to be there. Definitely. 100%. And sometimes, like, when you go interview people or you talk to people, they're there for the minute. 100%. Because they want to look good. Yep. Then once you put them on... When it comes to work... That's what I mean. Then it goes downhill and yep. you're like, shit. Yep. Or well, the first that? month, month that, or so is good. They're really good. Yep. And then it just drops off. Yep. I'm like, fuck. I used, to get, I used to get that when... Uh, 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 mechanic by trade. Mechanic used mm. to work on race cars, build race cars, drift cars, so cars, yeah. all, the rest, all the rest of it. So, yeah, he's had a lot of fun. But in the workshop, when I was in there, you'd get... Uh, apprentice start mm. or someone had just well how I started there was just like fuck yeah race shop I'm gonna go like same shit we're talking about go yeah. ask a question hey you looking for an apprentice mm. like I know a bit about cars I wanna work on fucking cool shit you know yeah. and then you start and then I was there for yeah five and a half years I was there for mm. a while but uh, I'll talk about what happened there later on uh, but when an apprentice would come in same shit like they're pumped I want to work on cars I want to do this yeah. I want to do that I want to build engines all the rest of it and so it's like okay well for now the floor's dirty that's, and that's there's a it. broom there that yes. you need to fucking start driving yeah. Yeah. because and they're like oh what well, I don't want to clean the floor it's mm. just like well I've got engines to build and someone needs to clean the floor mm. so if you clean the floor you can come and stand next to me and ask questions you know what I mean I, but I'm not telling you anything mm. until you do your job you know yeah and a lot of people can't handle that. Well, that's, that's the thing. A lot of people don't want to start at the bottom. No. Nah. Well, that's the thing. Even at Macca's, I used to do this thing where, obviously, when they first start off, like, because a lot of people that start there, they're quite young, so they're learning yep. basics, right? Mopping floors, cleaning tables, all that kind of stuff. Yep. I used to do this thing where I'd put this, if someone that was new, I'd put the same person that would, even if the dining room was clean, yep. I'd make them remop the dining room yep. every time, right? <laughs> every shift they're on, hey, can you do the dining room? But they'd be like, it's clean. I said, just redo it. Yeah. Just give the, 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 ins- the, the moment you realize someone's just going to do it yep. without even asking and, and do a good job of it, yep. like, yeah, they, they're they going to be good. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because they take direction well, but then they, they're just going to do the process that they need to do without trying to take the next step when they can't even go to the next step. Yep. You know what I mean? Because it's obviously a step-by-step process. That's right. So if people are comfortable to start at the bottom and they give good attitude to do it, yeah, the, the shit the stuff. Shit. Yeah, generally speaking, they're gonna to want to progress. Hundred percent, quite good. Yeah, so, but it's um, a, it's a process that has to be done. Like you, you have to start at the bottom. That's what, and yeah, that's what a course. lot of yeah. I I used to hate it actually when I when I was a mechanic and we did have apprentices mm. come through. Man, there was some there that were there for like a couple of years and done a good chunk of it, mm. and then just other uh, commitments got in the way, so they had to go do other things. But some were there for like two weeks. Yeah. They start, do all their paperwork and everything for them to go to start working at TAFE mm. and, and all the rest of it. And then it's not that they're just sweeping floors. Like, they're doing services and changing yeah. brake pads. Like, they're doing the basic stuff, you know, because it was a one-stop shop. We still used to service grandma's car, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, 100%. Once, once, yeah. Every time the services come around, mm. that's the bread and butter of the workshop. Mm. So, you get them in, you get them out. But if you can have an apprentice doing that stuff, yeah, there's more time. You, know, you can be Definitely. building engines, cars on the dyno. Like mm. you, you're doing that, you're doing the actual yeah. work, you know. But they didn't want to do that work. Mm. They wanted to come stand around and, and and watch what you're doing. It's just like it's just like man, you need to go, like you need but to get th- to work. That's it. You need to yeah. learn. No one's ever gonna hop straight in and be like brand new and go, hey, I'm I'm gonna build an engine. Yeah. I'd be surprised how many but, people. But you know want what to. I mean. But yeah. you can't. You just can't do it, and it's yep. the same with everything. You can't. Yep. If, yeah, you can't go it's there and just be like, "I'm going to build a house." Yeah, that's you've right. never built a house before. That's right. Doesn't make any sense. I think I uh, not long after I left high school, I went and done Bricky's Labourer. Mm. I'd done that for two days, and I was like, "This job is not for me. Mm. I am not doing this all day." Yeah. Yeah. Fuck that. <laughs> you got to have respect for some of the guys out there that kill it, eh? Man, that's work. Yeah. Like, I was like, I cannot do this that, physical yeah, work 100%. all day. Like, that is too much for me. Like, 
Like respect to all those old Maltese pumpers out there right. that are like 50, nah. 60 years old still killing it. Roofies, brickies, concreters. Man. That is, that's okay. hard stuff. I, I actually did, I did a, a laboring for um, Luke Maitland who was running a roofing business for one day. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, nope. <laughs> one day. And I was like, oh shit, man. I no, was thanks. like, I, I did a good job because he was like, you can come back yeah. and just be like the guy that does just a little shit. Yep. And I was like, no thanks. I can't, I can't do this. Yep. Like, this is really hard. <laughs> so respect to anyone out there that does stuff like that. Cause that's, that's tough work. I, uh, yeah, like the same for, I done it for a while. Hey, three, three and a half years. I used to do roofing, wow. but, um, uh, it was restoration. Yeah. So it was just cleaning, 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 uh, gotcha. yeah, yeah, cleaning yeah. pointing, painting. Yep. And then whatever you change broken tiles, done some tin roofs here and there, uh, mm. just like replacing broken stuff. Not too many, like, um, Full restos where you go on tile to tin mm. like that was their big big jobs but yeah it was it was cruise yaz yeah. rock up in the morning hook the water up to the gurney climb up on the roof clean it do you think do yeah. the pointing i'll do the painting in the afternoon and then come back the next morning and do the pointing yeah and that was that was it man like it was i was working with my best mate at the time yeah so i wasn't working like yeah. we were just hanging out all day like mm. it was just cruise yaz and i ended up leaving there to go and um, work on cars because yeah. we were building cars after hours. We always veal turbos, mm. uh, early supers, and all that. Always doing something. You yeah. Know? So it's just like, well, I've been around cars my whole life, but so mm. it's just like, oh well, fuck this! Like, I want to go work on cars and get paid to work on cars. You yeah. Know? So gotcha. made that jump and yeah, but that was hard work. I fell off a couple of roofs, mm. fell through a few roofs, no. the terracotta tiled roofs. Terracotta sucks. <sighs> Bad, man. Uh, I'm not sure clean terracotta. Not, not my mate, but one of his friends or what, his cousin, I think it was, fell through. Mm. Uh, just, yeah, you, you got to stand on the nose of them things, man. You can't yeah. just you put your foot wherever you want. You fall through it. He fell through it. And where it broke was like a point and a they're like a butter, like a like a chef's knife, man, oh, straight up the calf, and he, like it's opened up like a sausage, hey, like it was. Fuck, dude, that sounds disgusting. <laughs> it was nasty, hey, but uh, yeah, dangerous. I fell off a ladder. I was at the top of the ladder, put my left foot on, mm. and I had a stack of I think it was like four or five tiles, not much, but enough to just like, yeah, not be balanced. Went to take a step on and the ladder was on a, a bracket, but the bracket slipped mm. and then it caught the um, the bloody mount inside the gutter. Yeah. It slipped and stopped at that, but it moved like half a meter. Mm. So I've like done the splits yeah. and lost balance, man, from the gutter line on the grass on my back, out cold. Yeah. Oh, the boys are slapping me on the face to wake me up. <sighs> Not a good experience. I hate a bruise, man. Not a good experience. Oh, that sucked. It's worse for me because I'm like a fucking tree. So yeah. standing on the roof, <laughs> like I'm high. already off balance, <laughs> like trying to trying to stand up straight. Like yeah. Some of the shit we used to do was pretty dangerous, eh? That's I don't know. I, I'm, never, I, like, I'm not I, interested in I, it. I don't know why I did it. I did it at the time, obviously, to make money, but... You're just doing the cleaning? Yeah. Yeah? But wet tiles. Yeah. <laughs> dangerous. Socks. That, yeah, that's what I ended up doing. So, socks. I used to say. wear uh, Dunlop volleys all the time. Yeah. They were the shoe of choice. Yeah. But even at that, it gets to a point where it's just too it's sketchy. Too, way too sketchy. Yeah. Socks. Socks, soggy socks feet, grandma toes. That's, <laughs> how, that's how I used to run it. Man, you're doing that eight to 10 hours a day, cleaning roofs, mm. and it's, yeah, go standing water for 10 hours. Yeah, like, I know. Your feet look like <laughs> shriveled up prunes, eh? Like, <laughs> it's the fucking worst. <laughs> it's the worst. Uh, so good times, but. Same shit, we used to go everywhere. Newcastle, like mm. anywhere from like Newcastle down the other side of Wollongong. Yeah. Kiama, we used to be down at Kiama a fair bit. Mm. Clean the roofs down there. Yeah, it was good. Good fun. Not anymore. You couldn't pay me enough money to stand no, on a roof no, right no, now. No, could, I, would never, I wouldn't do it again. <laughs> if there was a problem up there, I'm ringing someone. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Res- again, there. respect the people that do it. <laughs> I'm not doing it again. Yeah. No. Not a chance. Never. Mad. No more plans moving forward to the future. That's my biggest one. That's it. I, 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 for me, I think trying to focus on one thing yep. is easier for me. Yeah. I, I get flustered pretty quick when, again, when it's out of routine. Yeah. And I'm trying to say, I need to do this, this, and this. But then if they're all big things, yep. I, I struggle to get the ball rolling. Well, you've got to put so much attention on one thing. That's what I mean. And get it done. And they're not yep. small steps. Like trying to 
take it to the next step and, and, and get the new equipment and, and a bigger van and, and hire someone and, and do all those things. There's a lot more maintenance. Yep. There's insurances involved. There's Definitely. a lot of upfront cost costs a lot of investment so it's it's something I, I, I'm not taking lightly and I'm not just mm-hmm. going to jump into it like I did the first time because yeah, yeah. I learnt my lesson that time I'm not yep. just going to go spend another 70 grand yep. on new stuff yep. if I know it's not going to work definitely so at the moment man to make it simple that's what would be my key focus and be, only because that's been dragging on for the last 12 months yeah okay. I'm still in the same spot yeah okay so and I haven't committed and that, that's all you're I, at the wall you need you, you Need yeah, to jump that wall. Hundred yeah, percent. I get it. And once I, I get, get once I get that foot over, and, and and it happens, and then I start to see the benefits from it. Yeah. Then I'm like, I'll never be, turn back. Do you know what I mean? I'll cool. never turn back. Yeah. Yep. And it's it's like it's like Joel. Yeah. Joel can't do that by himself. Nah, no way. You know what I mean? Not Otherwise, he'd never go home. That's right. And he probably still sometimes doesn't, say, go, doesn't go. He, home he probably now. sometimes <laughs> still doesn't go home. But I mean, like <laughs> him, obviously having good people on board, definitely makes his life a hundred times easier. Hundred percent. And I think that's what I need. It give, what gives him a, like we uh, spoke about when I done the podcast with Joel it gives him the ability to focus on the bigger parts of the business that's, because yeah. he's not running around like actually doing the work correct but he like he's still on the tools like he still does the stuff like yeah. <laughs> he said that he goes I can't stop yeah. but it's still it just well uh, using the freedom in the wrong context but it gives him the freedom to focus on the bigger aspects of yeah. the business and actually yeah. grow business why the workers are there doing the work well they always like heaps of guys in other businesses too they always tell me you're never going to grow if you're if you're there on the tools 24 7 so as you were saying before we were rudely interrupted by a giant gopro (laughs) bloody gopro (laughs) (laughs) well this one's on charge the newer one I can I can have it on a cable while it's recording and that one you can't no Uh, that's what I was saying before I want to I want to upgrade so and these are just quality is a lot better and mm. there's a screen on the front I can see myself on the front yeah. whereas you can't on that one it's a bit old school but yeah cool 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 so yeah like we're talking about it's um you got to just get over that that little be uncomfortable obstacle. yeah but do those be, uncomfortable yeah. things as Goggins as David Goggins says be uncommon amongst uncommon men there you go that's it man that's it so when you're in the room and you feel like you stand out, mm. it's time to stand out. Yeah. Like that's... Agreed. That's that's what you do. Mm. That's what you do. So, yeah, it's a good saying that one. When, you're, when you think you're in a room with bad motherfuckers, it's like, I'm the motherfucker. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. But you know it. I, mm. Yeah, I've been in that situation a few times. As people start talking, it's just like, man, you guys do not know. Like, yeah. Like, stop talking. Like, mm. like, a lot of people just don't get it. But, uh, yeah, it is what it is. Mate, if I could hang around all the all the elite thinkers out there, I wish I could. I would. Just to have a... Like, just to have just a conversation. Just a 10-minute oh, conversation. It would blow be your good, mind. man. It would blow your mind. Because I thrive, like we were talk, talking before, I thrive off that stuff. Just, yep. just hearing legends and, like, yep. at the end of the day, they are just normal people. Yep. But they've just got a different aspect That's it. on everyone else where... Hard work, determination, and all those kind of things is is normal. Yep. Right. Where it's the baseline. That's it. That that's that's the criteria you have to meet yep. to get started. 100%. There is no other 100%. thing. So to just even have like you said a ten minute conversation, and that'd, yep. that'd be killer. That'd be oh, awesome. the, do you have TikTok at all? No, no, I don't. Okay, it's it's. I should probably invest. It's not as bad as what you think it is. Okay, right? it's okay. actually pretty good. Yeah, it's actually yeah. pretty good. And, and uh, like I was talking about before, if you got a GoPro or something to video your work that would actually probably be better because you can just record like 10 seconds put your phone down and then halfway through you can just record another 10 seconds put your phone down and then when you finish the job that it just looks like it took 60 seconds yeah yeah and then you can put music on and whatever and it's like quick like you can do content on there quick like it is really good but it is a lot of inspirational stuff on there so Mm. it's a lot of stuff is just like stolen and reused that you would have seen on Facebook or yeah. Instagram, YouTube, uh, like podcasts, uh, interviews with all those goats. Man, mm. like there's yeah, there's just those That's thirty to forty second chunks of shit that they say. Yeah, where you're just like, fuck, I needed to hear that right now, mm. you know. So there was one I was watching the other day. I can never remember the fella's name, and I don't remember seeing it ever. But he's talking about Kobe. Mm. Like, they were playing Kobe in one of the playoffs or something. 
and he's like I'm walking around laughing jumping up and down like he's like I'm guarding this guy like, yeah. I'm stopping him he's yeah. like I'm putting points on him you know what I mean yeah, yeah, yeah. he goes we get to the fourth quarter Kobe walks on taps me on the shoulder and goes you had a good game bro and he's just like <laughs> he's like had a good game he's like what do you mean he's like he's like Still got a quarter to go. He goes, man, and that guy destroyed me. He goes, couldn't stop him. Yeah. He's just like, like, he let him play. You know what Mm. I mean? It's just like, okay, you had your fun. Yeah. Now it's time to watch how it fucking happens. So, Mm. yeah. I just started reading his book. Yeah. Actually, good book. Good book. Yeah. And I'm only like, not much in. Yeah. That's already good. And then, because it's obviously of his life and how he played the game and stuff, I just take screenshots of snippets of like things that are like powerful. Nice. I'm like, damn, that's good. Man, he was on another level, but hey. But even like all those guys, doesn't matter just the basketball players, mm. like just anyone at that level, uh, they don't stop. They, they don't. Like the the hunger, they're probably hungrier like at that point than they were when they start. Yeah. Like hundred percent. That ethic is just ridiculous. But there are a bunch of things I have seen, uh, like other people talking about Kobe, and they're like, when it's day before, like day before game day hours before game day it's like he's not sitting down chilling out like mm. he's practicing yeah like he's working like he's you see all these other guys sitting down waiting for game time it's like mm. he's working until it's time to go but then it just it, it's like obviously I'm not I'm not very good at basketball I'm sure the people in the Philippines will be very disappointed about that. all the cousins <laughs> that do play basketball but I'm terrible at it but I guess when it does come time to play the game it's all natural, right? Yep. It comes into motion because he's, he's done that practice so much. It gets to a point where he, he doesn't... He could do it with his eyes closed. That's exactly right. Yep. So, I think... And he, that's could, ex- he could stand at the half court and just close his eyes and knows if he goes like that, it's done. It's gone, like, yeah. That motion is done. Well, that's what I said before when I was like, if, if I've already worked a thousand hours more than someone else yep. because they chose not to start... You're already in front. You already got that on it, yep. right? Because you're choosing to, to to make that change. That's right. So, and if they decide they want to start playing now, yeah, like that's they've got a long way to catch up. That's it. But by the time they get there, mm. you're already another thousand that, in front. That's like, it. You're already you're on the back foot all the time. Exactly. Yeah. So that's why it's better to just do. That's it. Sometimes. Well, yes. Yes. Plan. Think. Yes, plan. Plan. Plan then do. Plan then do. Don't just do. Don't just do. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes, it's, again, I'm going to keep repeating that. Sometimes it's not good. Okay, well, I do see it a lot on all the motivational stuff on, um, well, not just motivational stuff, but a lot of the quotes and stuff you see, mm. it's just like, fucking do it now. Take action. And it's just like, like exactly like what you just said. Like, yes, I agree. Do it now. But <laughs> think about it. Yeah. Like, agree. put that plan in motion. This mm. is where I want to be. And then work backwards. How do you get there? Mm. And then work backwards. You need to be here. You need this done. You need that. And then and then you start what did, and you, you know get what? going. Don't, don't mind me. I'm just going to quickly look. Right. I did screenshot one of Kobe's one, which is actually pretty good. That's I I I'm not a big reader, but I just started reading. Yep. I was like, yeah, sweet. Change your life, man. You can never, you can never know enough. That's the way I see it. Here we go. So, all right, I'm going to read the paragraph out. Go. Everyone ready? Here we go. Um, If you really want to be great at something, you have to truly care about it. If you want to be great in a particular area, you have to obsess over it. A lot of people say they want to be great, but they're not willing to make the sacrifices necessary to achieve greatness. They have other concerns, whether important or not, they spread themselves out. That's totally fine. After all, greatness is not for everybody. What I'm saying is greatness isn't easy to achieve. It requires a lot of time, a lot of sacrifice. It requires a lot of tough choices. It requires your loved ones to sacrifice too. So you have to understand, so you have to have an understanding circle of family and friends. And sometimes people don't always understand. Yeah. And that's, because I've got, I've just got screenshots everywhere yep. of that, yep. of bits that mean something. As soon as I read that man, I was like, you were like, that's it. That's the one. But it is. And I'm and I'm, I'm like I'm doing that right now. Yeah. Maybe not to Kobe standards. Yeah. But I'm doing it in my own way. But you're doing like. But that's the that's happening. Of that. That's correct. Yeah. So just hearing that man like, and he's right. It's not for everybody. No. No one. Not not well, everyone. No. Not everyone wants to do the excess to get to where they want to go. Some people are happy to do 95 and that is okay. Yep. There's nothing wrong with that, right? right? Everyone's different and people choose if how they want to be. If that's how they're living their best life. if that's going to make them happy. All the power to it. Absolutely. 100%. But exactly what he said, it's not for everybody. Like some people don't want to do the excess before getting out. 100%. To go play the game like yep. he does. Yeah. And like it's... Do you listen to much Gary Vee at all? I don't. No? Okay. Good. Yeah, he's okay. Sometimes it's a bit too much. Yeah. Uh, Because he's just always 
pound and that and get it done drunk. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. which yeah. is which is good. It is good, but you just take you just too. take bits and pieces, you know. At the, at but the one mo- of the one yeah, of the things go. one of the things he says and says a lot mm. is like exactly what you just said. If your nine to five makes you happy and you want to go party on the weekend and get drunk, mm. that's great. Like all the fucking power to you. Yeah. But don't sit down and fucking whinge that you aren't getting anything done that's, because you're making those choices, you that's know? It. When someone else is out hustling, that's getting it. after it. 100%. So, yeah, I, 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 fucks, I fucks with that a lot. So, I, I don't think, like people that. Nah, I, I, I neither do I, like man. It. It, I think it, like now, as I'm getting a little bit older, I think it's starting to be like, like what you say, like someone will complain about something. Yeah. But they're not taking the right steps. To, but then, to do but, anything about it. But then they'll it. continue to complain and yeah. they're just like, but why are you complaining? Yeah. Like, don't be that guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I get, um, a bit, I get a bit rude on phone calls now. People are like, oh, do this, do that, do that. And I was just like, man, you've been talking about this for two years. Like, yeah, are you going to yeah. fucking do it or what? Mm. Like, <laughs> think of where you could be right now if yeah. you started this a, even a year ago, six months ago. Yeah. You could be six months into it by now, mm. you know? So, stop talking about it. Make a plan. But I think, yeah. I think you've you got to have, I mean, you got to have... Um, people you look up to too whether it's Definitely. it doesn't even have to be in the same industry yep. um, I think one business I do look up to I think you probably would see it quite a lot is G3 Fitness yeah. in Penrith yep. that was started by Matt Gamble yep. um, and Aiden Garzi who actually does Blue Guru yep. but they've done, they're doing their own thing that's right both incredibly you amazing see, people you see Aiden at World Gym all the time yeah well that's until where they started right yeah, well, he's got his own spot now too yeah so they both got their own spot they're both killing they're both hustling they're both doing the same stuff but in two different avenues yep. but um, I look at them too and I think that Matt's franchising Gazi's doing his glute guru stuff yep. but then you think to yourself they didn't just open those two up and then it's happened that's right they've been doing that stuff for Jeez. years Fucking and they've been running that same motion yep of, of training one on one training yep. back in the day where now they've obviously got the concept where they can train a lot of people a day yep. you know what I mean so and that's what I say to myself I'll go there and I'll think to myself and I go oh man they're doing a really good job Yeah. but then I then I also go how can I get there but then I think wait they've been doing this for a long time yeah, that's like right. a long long time that's right. and yep. they're only just hitting the scene heavily yeah. now Yep. you know what I mean so and, and sometimes I'll be like oh look, I've been doing it for three three four years it's just not long enough yeah that's right still need time yep. you know what I mean and, that, and that's and, and patience it, it is patience yep like um but I just thought, thought I'd throw that one out there because no, that's cool they're, 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 they're Emma, both Emma used to uh my wife Emma she used to train at G3 yeah I think yeah I'm pretty sure she's trained at G3 mm. for a while and then when we started going to World Gym, she used to go to some of Aiden's classes at yeah. World Gym. Yeah. Well, they're, I, yeah. I, they're both good, man. They're both people, like even back in the day when I used to have a lot of problems with myself, um, even though Matt had a massive schedule, I'd always just message him just to talk. Yeah. And he'd still make five minutes. That's mad. You know what I mean? In the day to That's be mad. like, because I'd be like, hey, I'm going through this, this and this. I'm not sure how to break out of it. He'd be yep. like, come see me at the gym yep. and we'll talk. That's mad. And he spent five minutes to talk to me. You know what I mean? Yep. And then same as Garzi, if, if like you need advice or anything, yep. they just tell you. Definitely. You know what I mean? They're Definitely. not shy. They're not, they don't shy against you in that way. Like yep. it's, I don't know, both really good humbling people. That's cool. So... And then and they're both killing it. Yeah, fucking Re- that. really, really good. It'd so. be mad to have a chat with one of them one day. Yeah, go set this up in the fucking gym down there, bro. You'd, That'd be mad. If you get a conversation with one of them, yeah, you'd, I think you'd learn a lot, man. I mean, I got a big list of people that <laughs> I want to talk to, and, I'm, and, and probably half of that list I've already emailed. Yeah, some of them are already set up. Some yeah. of them just waiting on a response for, sure. or, for or sure. time. So. The timing changes. That's why I messaged you last week because I thought we were set for last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, because yeah. I messaged you. I'm like, still good for the... And you're like, I thought it was like yeah. next Saturday. I was, I was just like, like, but I'll still come if you need me yeah. to. Like, I was like, fuck, it is next Saturday. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. um, the fellow I was talking to about doing one last weekend, mm. with all the rain and everything, he wasn't sure because he had some other uh, work commitments on. He's just like, I'm not sure if it's going to happen. You know, mm. I can't really let you know until like a couple of hours yeah, beforehand yeah. and um, and then I was talking with Emma I was just like I'm just not going to do anything this weekend yeah. but I ended up not doing a podcast last weekend mm. so it was just like like messaging you and then yeah. you saying it's next weekend I was just like well I'm like oh, my brain's fried like yeah, I just yeah, need yeah, to yeah. just stop yeah. so I ended up just doing a bunch of editing I've got a video put together that I'll put out tomorrow yeah I'll get that up on YouTube tomorrow so that'll come out Monday so that'll keep the weekly cycle going because mm. it's a video every Monday. 
every Monday's video on YouTube just to keep that content for sure for consistent. Sure, yeah. And since I've been doing that now with the podcast, that's the growth. That's mm-hmm. where it's at. It's more every week. Yeah. So with every video, it's that little bit more reach, a little bit more view time, a little bit like it's a step up. Yeah. Every way is a step up. So I can't if I can't put a podcast up, I'll put up a video of us. We're out in a van, mm. camping at the beach, like whatever, whatever it is. So something's always happened. Yeah, nice. But That's yeah, there's stuff, a list. Right? What are we? 13, 14, I'm at twelve weeks from last week. Then this week, it's fourteen. No, I'm at thirteen. Mm. So for the next thirteen weeks, I've still got a podcast every weekend. Fuck, bro! If you could get a heavy hitter in here, that'd be mad. Yeah, that'd so, be good, man. So, um, I, yeah, I've got a local Penrith guy mm. that I'm doing soon. Yeah, uh, just waiting on him to tell me the date because yep. he's opening up a new gym. Mm-hmm. So we're waiting. I don't think he's officially announced the date, but whenever he does, he goes, "I'll let you know," because yep. we'll get it done in the new gym. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, a bunch of other local people that I've already got that I've already. Uh, done podcasts with and that I have uh, set up mm. so but it's just time but unfortunately they change weekly as well yeah because one might message me and go oh man I've got something's come up I can't do it this weekend can we do it another weekend mm. and then someone will be like hey man like I'm, I'm good this weekend yeah. but next weekend's not going to be any good like you know yeah. what I mean so it's constantly chopping and changing so we're going to go to Canberra I think I was trying to organise to go to Canberra this week mm. But to go do a episode with another clothing brand down there, but to go down like it's a decent trip to go down there just to have a chat for an hour and then come back. Mm. So we know a lot of people that also live down in Canberra. So yeah. it's like trying to organise it so we can go stay at someone's house I'm and so. catch up yeah. and do all those things at the one time. Mm. So yeah, it's kind of a bit of a yeah, it's kind of a bit of a game trying to get it all to line up yeah. at the one time to be to be perfect but you, you uh, move it on the fly man it happens yeah, man it is what it is things change every day we just gotta adapt with it it's just like that? fuck that's not gonna work next yeah who are we gonna like how's it gonna work what mm. are we gonna do so it's okay. always something man. we always make it happen awesome but they'll be mad to have a chat with one of those two yeah get them in I will learn something I'll, have a chat with uh, even a, a 10 minute chat with Aiden <laughs> fucking blow man, my mind 100% you would because they, they're the same thing they've, they've been in the game for a long time man definitely has it been like a year or two they've been in there for a long time definitely so. there's, a, there's a lot of people that I have reached out to mm. uh, that obviously I have got podcasts organised with and yeah. there's a lot of people that haven't responded yet but they haven't even read the message seen the mm. message so every now and then I'll just flick another message you know they'll see it eventually like yeah. everyone's busy that's it they could get a thousand messages a day and that's what I mean it just gets pushed down so every exactly now and then right. I'll just just flick another one hey man send you an email you yeah. had a chance to have a look at it you know so mm. without being pain in the ass that's it. I want to be a pain in the yeah, ass but I don't that's I, it I don't want to push it so For but sure. then it gets to it gets to a point like like that like mm. reaching out to Aiden it's like I ha- like how am I going to have a conversation with that bloke like, yeah. he's like the level that he's at is mm. like just way beyond where I currently am and but then I have to bring myself back to it. It's like but I'm not trying to like I'm not trying to get information to go open a gym. No, you know that's I mean? it for like, sure. Like trying to have a conversation with him about mm. like him and his story and what he's doing. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's like a double edged sword sometimes. Man. It's like mm. it's like that imposter syndrome, you know? It's just mm. like am, am I good enough to go and talk to yeah. that person, you know? So but gotta ask the question. That's it, man. Like, even when I first started training, like, Matt and Aiden, they got good energy. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, even when I first started training, man, like, I'm not big at all, mm. right? But I was skinny. Yeah, like, right. Skinny fat. Yeah. And um, I remember when I first started the gym, man, I didn't know what I was doing, man. I was kind of lifting this and lifting that yep. and doing this and doing that. And that's when I said to myself, I'm going to grow some balls and, and try talk yeah. to one of them you yep. know what I mean to get the ball rolling yep. that's when I started PT with him that's how it all started yeah, nice. you know what I mean it was one on one PTs back in the day but that's how I got the conversation started because because like, I made the choice to ask 100% but if I was like if I stayed too comfortable and I was like I'll just do this and that yeah. I would have never grown to that point you would never got and then now, now when I, that's it Yeah. so now I can go to the gym comfortably yeah that's right you know what I mean and it's yeah. normal so yeah but yeah, anyways it's like that but hey 100%. That is what I'm going to fucking reference that to, to business right now because like going to the gym, mm. those first couple of times you go there, you're like, fuck, everyone's looking at me. Am I, that's am it, I yeah. doing this right? Because 20 that, people are watching yeah. me right now. Am I doing this right? You know, but uh, but sometimes you'll get that guy that comes over and goes, hey, man, maybe try 
this. Yeah. Like, this is going to help you right now. Like, mm. they can see you're kind of struggling or yeah. something. It's like, hey, maybe try this. Or you go and ask for a question. You go mm. ask a question. You go do a couple of sessions one-on-one mm. -on -one with a PT and you're just like, fuck. Like, yeah. it just makes it that much easier. So much easier. Like, business, it's the same. Mm. To struggle at first. It is. It's not it gonna be easy. Is, so Everyone's it's... gonna be watching and go, fuck, is he gonna fuck that up? Yeah, that's <laughs> it. Yeah. Like, is he gonna hurt himself or, yeah. or what? But uh but then yeah, as you as you learn, you grow and you just gotta keep keep running, keep pushing. Definitely. And that's how it all works out. Agreed. That's mad. <laughs> How'd you go? Good. You liked it? Yeah man. You enjoyed yourself? Yeah bro. It's 100%. good. Not too uncomfortable? Nah, the start was. It was a bit... It gets bit, like that. I was a bit... It's nerve-wracking to start because, I mean, when you set up like this, you get... It's a bit of pressure, eh? Yeah. But then now, I'm like cruisy as. Yeah. I'm in full cruise control. Yeah, that's It's mad. good. It's good. <laughs> it's good. Trent yeah, was the same. Yeah. He was sweating bullets, eh? I'm just like, bro, don't even worry about it. Yeah. After that, after we start talking for five minutes, you... Oh, it just flows, you're just man. Gonna forget. It flows so easily. You're going like, to forget. Yeah, honestly, you look right. After that first 10, I was like... You, you're I'm, just I'm like, good. oh, this is not that bad. Yeah. Yeah. That's all. When you said you're going to read that quote off your phone, I was just like, oh, like, he's trouble. He's, got a, he's on the spot now trying to read it out. Yeah. <laughs> but no, that was good. That was good. That was bad. Uh, yeah. Where can people find you, man? Social media? Everywhere. Yeah? Google, Everywhere. Facebook. Yeah, well. Instagram. Um, I think Google Evolution I'm, Epoxy. Evolution Epoxy Flooring AU. Yeah, um, okay. Because I've got an online team, man. Yeah, nice. But they, they kind of plot stuff everywhere. Yeah, you know how yeah. they can do all the background things? Yeah, I don't yeah. know where I am. <laughs> But my main one... You're just out doing the work. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll Google, Instagram, Facebook. Okay. Evolution Epoxy Flooring AU. Nice. I'll have links. I'll put all the links in the description below Legend. anyway. So Legend. that's cool. Uh, so YouTube, I'll cut all this up. It'll be on YouTube in uh, in a week. Yeah. So not this Monday. It'll be next Monday. Awesome, man. Always run it a week cool. behind. So I've got plenty of time to do the editing and stuff. See my pretty face on there. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but the... Uh, audio side of things yep. be Wednesday, Thursday yeah, cool. and that's SoundCloud, Spotify, iTunes and that is linked to whatever app you have for podcasts that draws from iTunes. Yeah, okay. It, it'll be on there. Awesome. So, uh, as far as I'm aware, I haven't... Well, I think I listened to Joel's and Trent's one on Spotify. Okay. So it would be on, yeah, yep. that, that one. I've had, uh, I've had a few people message me some random uh, podcast app that they've got. Mm. And they're like, I can't find your podcast on here. This before I linked it to iTunes. Yeah. Because I've got Samsung. I've always had a Samsung. Uh, so I've never had an iTunes gotcha, account. Gotcha, gotcha. So I had gotcha. to create an iTunes account and download it on, on the Windows and yeah. go through all of this shit to get it happening. But yeah, yeah but it's all working now and, and everyone can find it. So Yeah, awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. Good stuff, man. So Evolution Epoxy Flooring. AU. AU. Yeah, nice. Everywhere. It'll be in the description. <laughs> we'll, get it, we'll get it down there. So, yeah. Awesome. Awesome stuff. Been a good chat with you, man. Thank you, man. Not a problem. Crazy. See you later.